Bro, I keep just, bro, I keep telling you, bro, you can't see me, bro. What, what you want to do, bro? What's up? What, what's up? All right. What's up? Ooh, ooh. Break your ankle, boy. I'm, I'm about to, cr I'm about to cross the head. Of, I'm about to cross you out that goddamn, uh, your water container. Oh, oh, here you go, here you go. Oh, snap! Broke his ankles. Told you, bro. Doing all that big talk. What you gonna do now? What you? You lucky? I I'll about to dunk on you again with your soft ass. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold up. I just got out this morning. Oh. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you, I, th I thought she was, you got me. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> I, I, you. I forgot you be joking around like that. <laughs> oh, man. I got out last week. How the hell you get that? I'm gonna bring some of my stuff inside. Uh, I bet. Appreciate that, bro. I don't know if you got room. I hey, appreciate that, bro. Hey, I was hoping you were home at now. It's hot out here. About 100 degrees. <laughs> oh. hey. All right. Damn, bro, you ain't gonna help me, bro. Damn, you see me struggling. Damn, man, what you doing with all this stuff? All right. Woo. Damn, bro, this is nice. Hey, y'all done moved in everything. Hey, D, how many bedrooms is here? It's four bedrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all definitely got room for a guest. Hey, matter of fact, bro, how you even find our address? Oh, I just snuggled to a crime scene, jumped in the police car, searched up your license plate, found your address, caught the bus out here. That's it. Man, have you lost your mind? A little bit. And let me guess, you got caught, and that's how you ended up in jail, right? Oh, no, 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 no. See, I ain't get caught. I mean, I, you know, I, I might have got tased, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, I, I mean, I still got away, though. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? About the whole, like, jail thing, me, me and my roommate just had a little beef, you know what I'm saying? That, that was it, nothing crazy. What? So, what, y'all got into a fight or something? Oh, no, 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 like, like, it was actual beef in the fridge. Like, basically, my roommate was supposed to cook out a couple days ago, but what happened is his mama got sick, and he was like, oh, we're gonna have to cancel. I was like, okay, but I still gotta eat, though. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, basically what happened is, I go in the fridge and he got like the beef on the plate and it's all moldy with like hair and stuff growing out of it. So I'm like, bro, like on guard, you gonna have to get your beef away from my pizza rolls or I'ma flatten your ass like a clipboard. You see what I'm saying? So basically he was like, well, what's up? I'm like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So we start scrapping. I hit him, he hit me. You see what I'm saying? Then like all of a sudden he backed up. He was like, bro, I bet. Rock, paper, scissors, whoever lose gotta leave. I'm like, I bet. So I got down, boop, 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 he boop, boop, boop. I had scissors, he had rock, got down, now I'm here. But how you end up in jail? Oh, so man, what happened is, so basically I stole it off on him, he fell, you know what I'm saying, woo woo, called the police, they came and arrested me. Guess they arrested me for, bro? Assault and battery. Like what? I ain't assault a battery, I assaulted his ass. You see what I'm saying? But whatever, bro, y'all already know, bro. The police system be crooked, bro. Always trying to keep a black man down, you know what I'm saying? But we strong, you feel me? It is what it is. All right, all right, all right. So where you stand at now? I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I was kind of hoping I could, I could stay with you, you know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, I ain't no mathematician, but four rooms and two people, I mean, it gotta be some space in there somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Bro, even if we had the space, it's not up to me and you know that. You gonna have to ask Pops. And last time y'all met, it ain't really go too well, so I doubt he gonna let you stay. Bro, but that's the thing, like he ain't even gotta know, bro. I could literally sleep under your bed. I'll be straight. What? Yeah, and then all you gotta do is like every single day, three times a day, you know what I'm saying? You just. Bring me some food, slide it to me, you know what I'm saying? Then bring me some buckets so I can, you know what I'm saying, use the bathroom. 
And then like bring me another bucket to be able to, you know, clean myself and all this stuff because I don't want to stink up your room. You see what I'm saying? And I thought that's really about it, bro. Like, I ain't asking for much. Man, hell no. See, bro, that's your problem, bro. You, you selfish, bro. You always think about yourself. You don't never think about the good of other people. I'll I let you stay with me. I'm going to stay with you. You ain't got no house. Me. I, <laughs> all right. All right, bro. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Before I mess around, do something I regret. You feel me? What the bathroom at, D? All right, bro. Just go this way and make it right. All right. <laughs> you lucky, D, bro. You lucky you my boy. <laughs> and I ain't got nowhere else to go because I leave your ass, bro. What's wrong with this man? I'm talking about bringing you three meals a day and bringing you buckets. This ain't no farm. Ain't no damn goat. Bend your dog twice like it ain't nowhere to park. Smack the back side of his head like he durl. What's up, Dad? You thought I was feeding you? Huh? That brother a munch. <laughs> That is hilarious. Whew. I am so funny. I, I don't know where I get it from. Oh, Lord have mercy. What the hell is a much? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Hey, but Dad, I got a serious question. Uh, so one of my friends was wondering if they could, like, stay with us a couple nights. Well, of course they could stay a couple nights. For real? At a hotel. Ah! <laughs> I done did it again. <laughs> I am too funny. I am just too hilarious. <laughs> oh Lord. Hey, hey Dara, watch this. No cap. <laughs> hey, come on, I'm being for real. <laughs> oh Lord. I got I should be a comedian. I tell you all these jokes I come up with, boy. I'm something different. I'm so special. Oh Lord. But hell no. Why not? <laughs> because reason number one, that's what I said. And if I needed a reason number two, it'd be because I don't want no damn strangers in my house. I don't know these heathens. Dad, he ain't no stranger. You done met him a couple times. You know him. What the hell is you? I done met who a couple times? Woo -hoo. Hey, D. Hey, y'all gotta get some air freshener, bro. Woo, this stuff ain't strong enough. I don't know who room this in here, but it smells like a barn now. <laughs> it don't make no... Well, 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 if it ain't Lil Jimmy, it's Big James. We well, look here, Big Lame. You got a lot of nerve showing your face right here after what happened to you last time. What happened? I happened to beat your ass in a rap battle. That's what happened. Man, <laughs> that's a cow. I, I smoked the last time, didn't I, D? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, the people said you lost. So, what people? Them people. You know what? It's alright. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, Justin. <laughs> Anybody would have lost that battle. <laughs> Especially with weak bars like yours. I mean, come on. <laughs> not that serious. I mean, it's not like he a real rapper, right? <laughs> he only got about what? Two songs? <laughs> this guy. time that we spoke, it was smoke in the air. And everybody said you won, but I don't like that there. Like Cause Big James, he a beast and he don't take no Hell ill. No. So now I'm back and I'm better and it's so unfair. Yo. The way I'm about to drag your old ass across this beat. It might just raise your blood sugar cause I'm just too sweet. Should be illegal for a man to possess this much heat. I'm just too neat. Cause Big James the real OG. Big P.O.P. Can't see me on the M.I.C. Your rhymes too weak. I drop, kick you in your knee. And watch your ass fold up like an old bed sheet. I'm from the streets, bro. I hit you in your E.Y.E. Now who the hell you say you hitting in the E Y E, it won't be me. I put that on G O D. Cause if you try to S W I N G on me, you might just mess around and have to need an E M T. Boy, I'm surprised you still rapping after last time. What happened when I snapped on the beat and wiped your ass like a napkin? Damn it, maybe you forgot, but boy, I been about that action. I can hit you one time. You gon' be speaking in caps. Was a fight on the mic? I'm a certified step. I taught 21 to be a savage. Call me professor. Been an OG in these streets for so long, feel like forever. Before your ass was even thought of, I was here applying pressure. When I step out, the clouds open up like a window. If you 
can put me on a beat, I'ma eat like it's yeah. I keep a belt on my hip and cut you up like a strip. Your new name, Lil Debbie, cause you're soft in the middle. Oh, Hold up, Big James on God, no cash, straight up. Now nah, I'm really about to get on your head, cause everybody know the truth and why you act like you do on the inside, you're really just a lonely old man. That's why you always mad all the time. Ain't got nothing else to do but whoop ass and do crimes. You getting old, you already going blind. You gon' try to swing that belt and put a crack in your spine. Hey, Pops of Swords, that's your new name. And if they ask prehistoric, that's your new age. I might just kick you in the head with my flu games. You sweet just like Kool Aid. You motherfucker got on Big James. I've been the realest on the mic since I came out the womb. Me and you on any beat, I sweep you up like a broom. I ain't there, you can't whoop me and just lock me in the room. Put your hands on me, it's gon' be a bad afternoon. You say you OG in these streets more like Pappy. Well, that's OG for you is old ass granddaddy. Matter of fact, I ain't gon' lie, I'm surprised you still rap. Cause around about this time, people your age be napping There you go, no surprise, talking about my age again And best believe I ain't lonely, I got a bunch of lady friends They in a box above my bed and all got buckles on the end You got beef, well I got heat, so let's make smoke up and hit in Last night I stayed up late with your mama with on your the mama. phone And let me tell you, she ain't worried about these old yeah, ass no. bones If everything go right, a little drip, a little cologne She might just mess around and bring you a stepfather home I'm right. the B-O-B-S, I don't do no BS Too much bass in your chest, you like Nike, you get checked Little boy trying to flex, but I'm not too impressed That's why that fake ass chain Leaving green on your neck How you call yourself a rapper and ain't nobody heard of you Thinking you can step to me, boy, that's very absurd of you You gon' kick me in the head Boy, ain't nobody scared of you Come on over here and try so I can knock the words out of you OG, that's me, P.O.P. on G.O.D. It's going up like Cardi B, I'm big dog and you a flea The disrespect, I'm tired of it, you must not really know about me I'm known for giving out them ass whoopings, call me Mr. V I'm spitting fire on this beating, you just out here making noise Boy, I'm grown, you a youngin', you still probably play with toys If I was you, talking junk would be something that I'd avoid Cause I can easily make your mama miss his maze, little boy Boy. I mean, I still won. Boy, you crazy. I beat your ass so bad I feel like I need to be apologizing. Both your verses was trash. Like, you can't even rap for real. Like, that was doo doo. Okay, I tell you what, let's make a deal. I like the confidence, but if you can admit that I won and I'm a better rapper than you, I'll let you stay with us till you get on your feet. Matter of fact, I'll give you my room. <laughs> I'll take my bed and put mine in the street and I'll sleep out there on the concrete. All you gotta do is repeat after me. Pops absolutely destroyed me in the rap battle. And it makes sense <laughs> because he's a better rapper than I will ever be. And I wanna see some emotion. So try to make some tears for all of you can. I'd rather sleep on the street. Well, so be it. Be safe out there. Dad. No, 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 I, I tell you, it's all good. I'm a hustler. I'm a be all right. I ain't worried about nothing. Do you want to know why? I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm good. I'm a, I'm a hustler. <laughs> I do this. You <laughs> feel me? I'm straight. I just stay with my baby mama, her boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? I be paying her child support. She owe me anyway. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Bro, just say it so you can stay. It's not a big deal, bro. Man, hell no, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Hell no, nah, cause I'm an OG, and I don't lie about the truth. The truth of the truth, and if the truth ain't gonna be the truth, I'ma lie my truth, till the truth be true again. And stay to my truth, until the lie become the truth, and the truth become a lie. You feel me? What the hell he just say? I don't know. I said peace, I'm out. I ain't gotta take this, I'm OG. You must not know about me, I been by this life. I ain't never needed no help, I ain't never gonna need no help either. I'm good. And I'm gonna be back for my mattress. Dad, why you do that man like that? I ain't did nothing. I, all I did was give him an opportunity. You saw it. He chose not to take it. What? Damn, man. Hopefully he got like a family member or friend or something he can sleep with. Cause like, I don't know, man. The world is a crazy place. And I just, I hate to see him sleeping on the street. You know, like, especially cause People crazy nowadays, and like, I can't even imagine like not having no food to eat, or like, can't sleep, he ain't got no air conditioning, no heat, like, I don't know, man. Every time you turn on the news, somebody done got shot. It's... How the hell you even? Whatever. So cold in here. How the 
Hell, my window get open. What the hell? What the hell? I know damn well somebody ain't climb a ladder. To Hey! <laughs> Better not be nobody up under there! I. I beat your ass with this trash can! Hey, then you better wake up, bro. Better wake up before I put him to sleep. <laughs> bro, you ain't even do nothing. I'm still standing. Pretty good walk, walk. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm about to knock your head off your shoulders in a minute. <laughs> Man, whatever. Oh, hey, watch this, watch this. <laughs> hey, let's go! Don't you <laughs> lay your ass out like a beach towel? <laughs> Bro, calm down. It's not that serious. You won one game. Bet let's run it back then. I bet I'll knock you out again. I bet. Let's go. All right, all right. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand up. Oh! Yeah! What I tell you? What I pay? I'm playing with me. I'm from the streets, bro. Being about this life, I ain't gonna be about this life. Burr gang all day. Burr on gang. Bro, you got lucky. You know that. Man, nah, bro. This ain't no luck, bro. I do this for my mama. I do this for my daddy. I do this for my grandma. I do this for the streets, bro. This hard work, bro. Sweat, blood, and tears, bro. Ain't no luck. On God, bro. I put my life in it. It's real life. Bro. <laughs> Chill. It's just a game. Oh, you think it's just a game? It is. So you saying I can't fight? What? So what you saying is I can't knock you out in real life? Is that what you saying? Bro, what are you talking about? Well, let's go then, bro. What's up? What's, what's up? Bro, you gotta chill, man. What's up? Yo, you almost hit me for real. What's up, D? You you, you, you talk I can't fight? Let's scrap then. I never said you could. Bro, why is you tripping? Why are you running? I'm not running. I'm not trying to fight you. Oh, trust me. It ain't gonna be much of a fight. Damn, I, I wasn't trying to knock the hell out of oh, you. What is all this noise? I'm trying to clip my toe. Uh, I was. <laughs> You see what happened was, hell yeah, that what I'm talking about, woo woo woo. Man, you don't even know what happened. Damn it, girl, you ain't got to tell me because I'm looking at what happened and I couldn't be happier. I knew you wouldn't be a sissy all your life. <laughs> I see you got that swing from me. <laughs> nah, that you don't understand. I, I ain't do it on purpose. It was an Ooh, you know what? We should celebrate. Let's get you a four-wheeler. Okay. Meet me in the car. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Better watch and Terry, tell them all they better watch themselves. <laughs> they gonna be calling you Floyd Maysweather. <laughs> My son the boxer, he kicking ass. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, give me a photo. <laughs> Twilight, first of all, mama, don't get mad at me, you know what I'm saying? Cause your boyfriend a bum. You know what I'm saying? Your boyfriend don't work, he don't job, he don't got no job. What's the point of it? What's the point? 
life. Then he got the nerve to tell me I should do something with my life. Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, at least I got a job. You know what I'm saying? I might be making $5 an hour, but I'm bringing in more than you bringing in. And you ain't gonna believe this. Guess what my mama told me? She said, I'm disrespectful. I'm disrespectful. He's about to get disrespectful in a minute. That's crazy, ain't it, bro? So now she mad at me, because I was like, what? You must have bumped your head. Now she's trying to kick me out. Trying to tell me I need to pay rent or else. How you got the money for that? Oh, God, bro. I promise you, I ain't going nowhere. I'm the one that bought the last loaf of bread. You know what I'm saying? Bro. What's up? I'm about to go. All right, bet. Where we going? We ain't going nowhere. I got to leave. Come on, dude. You see I'm going through something? I need some advice. Who am I supposed to talk to? You ever tried talking to a therapist? Oh, man, I can't afford no therapist. And even if I could, I wouldn't know where to start. I don't even know if I got time for real. Well, luckily, thanks to BetterHelp, the sponsor of this video. Bro, starting therapy has never been easier. Shoot, honestly, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I've been using BetterHelp for a while, bro. And like, I can't even really explain how much it's impacted my mental health. It's dope, for real. Like, to have a space where you can like be open and share your thoughts and emotions without feeling like you're being judged. And then on top of that, you learning like techniques on how to cope and how to manage stress and anxiety and things like that. Honestly, bro, my mental health has been a lot better since I started, for real. Hold up, hold up. You go to therapy? For what? Have you not met my daddy? What you trying to say? Nothing. Oh, okay. Like I was saying, BetterHelp makes therapy easily accessible and affordable. And on top of that, bro, it's remote, so you don't even gotta drive to meet somebody. Like, you can literally do your therapy sessions in the house, in the car, and ooh, even in the bathroom? You said what? Well, see, that's why I feel most vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the bathroom make me emotional. Uh, sure. Anyway, BetterHelp matches you with the right therapist according to your preferences. So basically, you get to choose the best fit for you. And aside from that, you can also change therapists anytime you want. I bet. I think I'm going to try that. <laughs> How I get started? Bro, that's easy. All you got to do to get started is click the link in my description box or go to betterhelp.com forward slash Daryl. And by clicking that link, you also get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So I'm looking out for you for real. I mean, like I said, bro, therapy for me has been life changing. So if you deal with like anxiety or depression or whatever, or maybe you just want to see what therapy is like, go ahead and sign up for BetterHelp today, bro. You ain't going to regret it. Oh! I got matched with the therapist already. See, it's that easy. Oh, I'm about to call right now. I got some stuff to get off my chest. Appreciate it, D. Hey, what's going on, Lizzie? Let me tell you about my mama and that bum she dating. So she bring home that bro, ignorant, stupid, ugly. Hey, thanks again to Better Help for sponsoring this video. Cause he was getting on my nerves. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, I can't complain. How can I help you? Yeah, let me get a turkey and provolone sub. I bet. What kind of bread you want? White bread, cool. And you want about six inches or twelve? I do six. I bet. I got you. Uh, you said you wanted turkey. Uh, real quick. Uh, is that is that six inches? Or is it? You said what? I'm saying because you know that <laughs> that look that look more like about four and a half. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I asked for six. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold up. Uh, <laughs> Real quick, <laughs> uh, I don't mean to disrespect your math. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, again, <laughs> I asked for six, and uh, that looked more like, you know, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, well, I'm giving you extra for free. How about that? Well, see, but if I wanted extra, I'd have paid for it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that better? Hold on, let me just, real quick, <laughs> just make sure. Mm -mm, see, that's about five and some change. You, you see that? that? That still ain't. You know what? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it ain't gotta be perfect. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? wear gloves when y'all, you know, make people food. <laughs> Bro, I wash my hands before every order. My hands are clean. I mean, I believe you. You know what I'm saying? Of course I believe you. It's just, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of uh, diseases and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do, I do want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, my sandwich, <laughs> you know, 
not contaminated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Appreciate that. Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> you mind unfolding the turkey? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just make the sandwich stick. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, make it hard to swallow. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to choke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Appreciate that. You wanna do this? No, 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 no. <laughs> you the professional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just watch. <laughs> you know my damn nerd. I was having a good day before you walked in here. You want lettuce and tomatoes or no? Yeah, I'll take some. All right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where y'all get that lettuce? What the hell you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was just asking. You know what I'm saying? Because it looked like it's fading. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it, it don't matter. It's all good. Lettuce and lettuce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, just eat it. You want some mayonnaise? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, uh, let me just get that. Salt, pepper, and I'll be good. <laughs> All right. Oh! Uh, <laughs> can you actually, um, scoop that off and then spread it on the top slice of the bread? <laughs> it, you know, it's just cleaner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like my mayo to look like mayo. You know what I'm saying? Not frosting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, I, I can't just scoop it off. I already did it. All right, all right. Cool, cool. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe if you did it right the first time, I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> hey, you say? Nothing, nothing. I, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> you do you. Oh, okay. Knock your ass out in here. Real quick, my bad. Um. Is that salt or pepper right there? It's both. Oh, okay. All right. Just a little bit. Uh, I don't need a lot. You got one more time and I'm gonna slap the head out you. My bad. My bad. Getting on my nerves now. I really don't want to be here. <clears throat> that's good. That's all you wanted, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. It's gonna be 6.45. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> A big deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I see you cut it in half. <laughs> okay, then. Well, since you're asking, um, you're supposed to cut it at a 45 degree angle so I can work my, my myself up from the small part to the big part. You know what I'm saying? Cause the way you cut it, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta break my jaw to eat it. You know what I'm saying? So what you want me to do? Make the whole sandwich over? I mean if you don't mind, you know Get I Get your ass up, you know what? Take the damn sandwich. Take this, take this damn sandwich. I done had enough of your ass. Take this damn sandwich to get your ass out. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> and I'm keeping the change. Oh, that's actually a twin. I'm gonna need my pants. Get out! Get out! You can keep it. You can keep it. Have a good one. <laughs> I hate this job. I got it. I got it. Club Godzilla, I ain't tricking nothing in it, doing it bad. That song's stupid as hell. <sighs> All right, damn hip hop today. All right. <clears throat> what? What the hell is? Where the hell is my damn wallet? I... My damn wallet. I just had the mother. 
I know Daryl ain't stole from me because he ain't that damn stupid. So what the hell did I do with my damn wallet? I just had it. I just, what? I went to McDonald's. I went, oh, what the hell? Did I... Lord, mercy, my booty tender. Damn, damn, damn. Roger, Roger, Roger. Hit it, Roger. Hit it, knocking on my Roger, damn door like that. Hold up, I got to Come on now. Hold on, now wait a minute. I got damn that flap coming. I got damn wait a minute. Turn on my damn door like a goddamn holy. What the hell wrong with you, now? Goddamn nigga. What the hell wrong with you knocking on my damn door like that? Like you ain't got no damn flinch. Damn, 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 Goddamn it, move, God damn 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 it, move, What the hell I got into me? Lord have mercy. Woo! 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 Booty hot. My booty hot. Woo! Thank you, Roger. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have made it to the house, goddammit. Woo! Tell the wife and kid I say hello. Alright? Uh, I will. Alright, Roger. Alright. Close the damn door. Close my damn door. Come in here. God damn! God damn! What? The hell? What the hell are you been eating? Stank your ass! Oh, man! Damn! Damn! Let my damn wallet at Roger house. God damn! And all my goddamn money better be in there too. I know Roger thieving ass. Damn! Hello. Hey Roger, it pop. Hey, what's going on, man? Man, you know I done left my damn wallet at your house. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. I left it on your damn table this morning. Damn, that crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm finna come around there and get it. Damn. Well, I ain't got no money for you. You, you ain't got no... What the hell are you talking about money? I ain't sending about no damn money. Damn, I just gave you money last week. What the hell is, You ain't gave me shit. Look, look, all I'm saying is, you owe me $400. <laughs> $400? Nigga, you done bumped your head? Nigga, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn who... Ah, got your ass. <laughs> I, I can't come to the phone right now. Please don't hesitate I don't to leave a message. At the sound of the beep, this and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. And don't forget, <laughs> I got your ass, Did sucker. You? <laughs> I know damn well. I'm about, I'm gonna whoop his ass. I'm, okay. Okay. All right, Rodden. Okay, Rodden. You a goddamn comedian now, huh? You a goddamn comedian. We gonna see about that. We gonna see just how funny your jokes are, motherfucker. So this nigga think he a comedian, huh? Oh, you a comedian now, Roger? Okay. We gonna see what the hell's so funny. We gonna see what's funny. What? There his ass go right there. My generation was all about love and, and dignity and, and community and, and we respected one another. You see what I'm saying? So nowadays- Roger! I'd have beat your ass with that walker. Yeah, hey, Pop, what's going on with you? You think that shit funny? Do I think what funny? What the hell are you talking about funny? That voicemail shit, that's what I'm talking about. You think that shit funny? Voicemail? What the hell are you talking about? You know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I got your ass, didn't I? Oh, you got me? You got You got me? You show, now I'm about to get your ass. Oh, Lord, this is crazy. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Bro, why is you always playing? D, what is you talking about, bro? Bro, I done told you about making them noises, bro. You ain't from this side of town. They really be on some different stuff over here, bro. D, 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 bro, first of all, ain't nobody gonna step to me, bro, because I'm a savage. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna step to me unless they want that goddamn...
they got damn two piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, second of all, bro, it's just a pigeon call, bro. Like, it ain't no big. See? Bro, you tripping for no reason, bro. Hey, I'm just saying, man. It's a, it's a lot of gangs around here, bro. And you don't know what that noise means. So if I was you, I'd cut that out. For real, for real. Well, that's my gang right there, goddamn. Yo, chill, man. How you gonna tell me to stop you doing the same thing? Bro, that wasn't me. That wasn't you. Well, who was it then? Bro, why you... I'm about to drop kick your ass, bro. That's probably a little kid or something, ain't it? Bro, I swear to God. Hey, bro. What the hell I tell you, man? Hey, bro. That's you making that noise? <clears throat> I, uh. <laughs> nah. Nah. I, 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 hell I was just... yeah. Bird gang got down. <laughs> Y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was me. Hey, <laughs> hell yeah, bird gang. <laughs> Y'all. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, told, I told you it was a joke, bro. Like, <laughs> all right. I tried. Hey, to... hey, bro. I might be got down tripping. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 I know I ain't just hear you say you read Bird Gang, cause I, uh, <laughs> your ass finna get shot. I tried to tell you shut that shit up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I was just playing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Hey, look, check this out, bro. Uh, just out of curiosity, though, got down. If he did, though. What you gonna do about it, homie? I shoot this whole goddamn block up. Hey, what's up then, bro? Let go. Oh, how about we not? Can I speak to customer service? I think it's been a miscommunication. Ain't no damn miscommunication, bro. It finna be some dead birds in the street, bro. Well, goddamn it, I guess we all gonna die together. Hold the hell on, huh? Fellas, 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 come on now. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I wasn't trying to cause a ruckus or nothing like that. I, I, I was just- Bro, f all that, bro. I need to know right now, bro. Is you is or is you ain't bird game, bro? <clears throat> what? I mean, really, like, Dude, you want to explain? I don't call my damn name. You die by your damn self. Okay, check this out. See, I, <laughs> we see, I was, uh, <laughs> nah. See, I, <laughs> I was actually just playing. Like, hey, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, you telling me you false claiming, homie? Man, hell no. You know I'm 100% goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like, burger. You know what I'm saying? Like, Alright, bro. I ain't playing no more, bro. Like, man, f bird game. You know what I'm saying? Hey, homie, what the hell you say? I say, yup, bird game. <laughs> so, you is rapping bird game. <laughs> I just wanna go home. Damn, can I go home? Oh, oh Lord! Lord, I've been shot. I've been shot. Somebody call the ambulance. Man, get up off the damn floor. I ain't even shot you yet. Damn, am I hit? Am I hit? Damn, sissies. Oh, hell no. This Where the hell are you going? Uh, uh, I forgot I got food on the stove. So I, I got. Man, get your ass back over here. Oh, come back over there? Okay, okay. Now, the way I see it, bro. Y'all got two options. Y'all? That's what I said. What the hell you mean, y'all? I ain't rapping the damn thing. Nah, that's your boy, right? You talking about... I... Well, see, I just met him today. Bro. Like, I... You shut your damn mouth. You the one got us into this. Man, how the hell was I supposed to know a damn bird call with some of some damn gangs? Man, I can't stand your ass. I knew you I know, little little ass, Every man, time you I get with you, it's something. You always got me doing something. Oh, Lord, I'm shot again. Lord, shut up. Damn. Now, like I said, bro. Y'all got two options. You can get stomped out by him, or you can get stomped out by me. Pick one. Or, 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 y'all let us go home, and y'all can shoot the hell out of each other. Bro, what the hell is you talking about? Why would we do that, bro? Well see, well, see, I got bladder issues, and so I pee when I get nervous, and so, you know, you know, as we speak, I'm pissing in my drawers. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, how about, I tell you, I tell you what, how about, how about y'all let us go home? I, you know what I'm saying? I changed my drawers. You know what I'm saying? And then I, we just come right back. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I, I, we come right back. Yep, yep. See, and then, and, then, and, then, and then while he go home and change his drawers, you see what I'm saying? I can go home and check on the food that's on the stove. You know what I'm saying? Because I would, I, I would, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wouldn't want to burn the house down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, want me to be homeless. You see what I'm saying? So then we'll just go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? And then I swear to God, we're going to come right back. How much time you think they need, bro? About 10 minutes? What? I mean, I don't want the man to piss his clothes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to smell no piss. Right. Man, shut your stupid ass up. They trying to play us, bro. There ain't, no, ain't nobody going nowhere, bro. You got three seconds to tell me if you bird game or if you false claiming before I start putting bullet holes in everybody. Man, you know what? I'm tired of this. My dad ain't raised me to be no damn punk. You know what I'm saying? It's two of us, it's two of y'all. So either Y'all gonna back up by my face, or we gonna have to lay hands on you. Ain't that right, bro? Please don't shoot me. 
Hey, bro, where y'all at, bro? What was you saying? Uh, <laughs> uh, so what I was saying was, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a youth pastor. <laughs> and so when, when, I, when, I, when I say lay hands, I mean like, like, we gonna gather in prayer. Uh, so let's all just, 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 just bow our heads. Uh, Father God. Man. What's up, Dad? Dad, can you hear me? Yes, Dad, I can hear you. What's up? Yeah, nothing much. Just uh, driving on to the house now. Okay, cool. Yup. Mm -hmm. So, is there a reason you called or? Hmm? Uh, damn. Um. Damn. Uh. Uh. What, what, what the hell I call you for? Um. <sighs> That's a whole lot of breath just came out your mouth. I know you ain't huffing and puffing at me. No, Dad, but I'm kind of busy right now. Is there something you need? You busy? Or... What the hell you mean you busy? What you doing? Getting ready to go to that job you don't have? <laughs> ah! Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, boy, I make me laugh, boy. I, I need to be a comedian, boy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, that's funny to me. No, Dad, I'm in the shower. You in the shower? I don't hear no damn water. Well, yeah, Dad, because the water off. What? Wait a minute, so you washing your ass dry? What? Oh, uh, see that right there? That's why you always itching and scratching, because you got all that damn dirt piled up in the crack of your ass. Dad, head. what is it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, um... So, I, I was, uh, I was calling... Uh, to see if, if you were busy. No, not really. Are you finna go somewhere? No, I'm not going nowhere. Okay, good, don't go nowhere. I got a surprise for you. I'll be home in a couple minutes. Oh, for real, you got me something? Yes, I did. I actually thought about you this morning. I said, let me, let me go ahead and get something that Daryl been asking for. Oh, shoot, sure. what is it? I can't tell you. I told you it was a surprise. Can I get a hint? Nope, you're just gonna have to wait till I get there. Well, what did it start with? It start with you getting off my damn phone before I take it back. All right, all right, all right. I'll just see when you get here. All right, then. Hell, give me about 10 minutes. I'll be at... Damn, she kind of thick over there. I'll tell you what, Daryl, give me about 25, 30 minutes. Excuse me, Miss Lady. Miss Lady. You looking for a sugar daddy? What's wrong with that man, man? Do is wild, man. Oh, no! What's up, Dad? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I said, are you ready, girl? Yeah, Dad, I'm ready. What is it? Well, son, let me first uh, just start by explaining to you why I decided to do something special for your ass in the first place. Okay. So, it seems that um some people seem to think that I'm a little too tough. On you sometimes. Now, obviously, you don't believe that, right? What? <laughs> nah. No. No, man. That's crazy. Like, that's what I said. But anyway, um, to make it up to you anyway, you know, and since you've been, you know, doing a good job with your chores around the house and handling your, you know, responsibilities as of lately. Um, even though, you know, sometimes I still got to remind your ass to do the same damn thing over and over and over again, and you're too damn old. Okay, Dad, I get it. <clears throat> but anyway, like I was saying, I decided to get you a gift. Now, I went all over the damn world to try to find this gift. I searched high and low and near and far to try to find this gift for you, and um, I couldn't find a damn thing nowhere, so I said, you know what? I'm not gonna give up because Dura, Dura wouldn't want me to give up because he deserved it. So I said, you know what? Let me just check the damn pawn shop. Maybe the pawn shop I have it. I don't know the hell with it. And I walked in the pawn shop 
And lo and behold, there it was, sitting on the damn shelf, the PS5. No, Dad, you lying. And there are that goddamn price tag said $999.99. And I said, F that. His ass gonna be all right. But before I gave up hope and walked my ass out the damn door, the man said they had one last Xbox One. And if I wanted it, he could work out a deal with me. So, Dad, you really got me an Xbox One? Son, you deserve it. Dang, that's dope, Dad. I appreciate that. God damn it, you better. Because it cost me $400. The man said that you would sell for 800 But since he could tell that I'm a loving father just trying to do right by my only ignorant boy, he said it cut in half for me. So, you know, I got a, I got a pretty good deal on it if I do say so myself. $800? I'm going to grab it for you. I'll be right back. Okay, cool, Dad. They don't sell no Xbox Ones for $800. Xbox One is like $250. I don't know, maybe it's limited edition or something. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, that was I'll be damned. Oh duh! Here it is! Oh suck it suck it nah. I said oh suck it suck it nah. Alright, here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Feel out all night. BAM! What you think? Did I do good? Wow, that that's <laughs> that's uh that's nice right there. I know, right? That's what I said. I said this must be the 2022 version. More like 2002. You say what? I said I love you, Dad. Uh, thank you. I you know I, I I appreciate you doing that for me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you you ain't, you ain't have to go get me. You know what I'm saying? Xbox. I, I appreciate that. Of course, son. Of course. Oh yeah, you want me to <laughs> you want me to grab it, duh. <laughs> Uh, oh man, that's, that mug, that thing heavy, boy. Give me that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you don't seem too excited after I just spent four hundred dollars of my hard-earned money to get that little PS box for you. That what? Nah, that. that. <laughs> of course I'm excited. You know, it's just. It's just what? Well, <laughs> you know. I, um, <clears throat> I asked for an Xbox One, and right, you did, and that's what the hell you got. Yeah, Dad. Um, <laughs> um, this is the Xbox One. Um, this is the first Xbox. Hold that on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold hold the hell on. So so so. <laughs> you telling me that's not the Xbox One? That's the first Xbox. Right. So, so, so it's not the Xbox One, it's the first Xbox. So it's the goddamn Xbox One! No, 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 dad, dad. This is the first Xbox, not the Xbox One. Hey, uh, Xbox One, one Xbox, Xbox the first, what's the damn difference? Dad, the first Xbox is not the Xbox One. The Xbox, Xbox One, one is the third Xbox, Xbox, and, and the second Xbox, Xbox is the Xbox 360. The newest the Xbox is the Xbox X. This is the original Xbox. What the fuck you say to me, boy? Dad, this is the original Xbox. So... That's the first Xbox. Yes, this is the first Xbox. <clears throat> so once again, Daryl, being that it is the first Xbox, it is the Xbox One. No, Dad. I don't think you're getting it. God damn it, I'm about to get upset. Dad, it's really not that hard to understand. I, I know it's not. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> Dur, okay, okay, Dur. okay, okay, pay attention. I know you're not the sharpest pencil in the damn box, but just try to keep up, okay? Okay, listen, listen, listen. This is the first finger, correct? Yes, Dad. Okay, good. So, we both agree that this is the first finger. Now, would you also agree that this is finger number one? Dad, it's not even the same. Would you agree that this is finger number one? Yes, Dad, yes. Okay, so like I said, 
It's the same damn thing. The man told me this was the new Xbox. It was new 20 years ago. Who the hell you mind? Throwed your ass into a city and stuffed you in that damn Xbox. Dad, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying, like, like, look, this thing's so old, it don't even go into our TV. What is this? You know what that is. Boy, that's a damn... Damn, I ain't seen them in years. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. This thing came out like 20 years ago. They don't even make games for it no more. What? What, excuse me for trying to do something nice for once? How the hell is I supposed to know it's 35,000 different Xboxes out here? But like I said, I, I mean, I appreciate you thinking about me. You know what I mean? Well, like, damn it, I hope you do. Because I can guarantee it ain't never happening again. I ain't buying your ass nothing else. $400 down the damn drain. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dad, I, I think they might have cheated you. Cheated me how? What the hell are you talking about? Dad, you said you got this for $400. The Xbox Ones don't even cost that much. Duh, duh. Duh. Better watch yourself. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. Somebody gonna get dead tonight. I swear to God. Yeah, Dad, look at this. Man, this Xbox sells for like $50, $100 at the most. Like, I think they lied to you. Oh, look, it say right here, no refunds unless you purchase the warranty. Oh, I, what the, oh, what, what, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Give me, the, give me the damn game. Give me the damn game, I'm going to get my money back. Oh, did you get the warranty? I don't need that damn warranty. I got a warranty of my own and my whole 10 bullets. What, Dad, you can't just go up there threatening people. You're going to get arrested. F 12. Real quick, I just want to throw a real quick disclaimer in here. Um, the views and opinions expressed by Pops are those only of Pops. We over here love and appreciate our police and law enforcement, and we thank you for what you do. <clears throat> Back to the video. Ain't finna get my ass locked up. <laughs> Dad, you can't just go up there threatening people. You're going to get arrested. F 12. Dad. Dad, my ass. That's 400 of my dollars that I worked hard for, and he going to do me like that? It ain't, it ain't happening like that. I guarantee. I guarantee it ain't going down like that. I'm going to get my money back and then some. Dad, 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 look, look. I know you're upset. All I'm asking is that you please don't go up there and do nothing stupid. You... <laughs> Ignorant boy of mine, I can very much assure you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Cause I ain't going down there to do a damn thing. What's happening, it's your boy Jerome Jenkins, and I'm back again with your breaking news at 10 just in. An unidentified local Charlotte man has just not only robbed a pawn shop at gunpoint, but he also burned the entire building to the ground. If you look at your screen, you can see the rubble and remains of what used to be a pawn shop. Police currently have no information. They're still gathering details. So if anyone has any information, please call Crime Stoppers immediately. All right? Peace. Put my damn piece of down. He just pissing off everybody, ain't he? I thought you said you weren't going down there. What the hell are you talking about? I've been here the whole time. I ain't went down there. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You did But how? Wait a minute. Hold that off. He did it. I know, I know he did it. What's up, Pop? Woo, what we got, what we got? Hey, this right here, your $400? And it's everything else that was in the register right here. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Money, money, money. Woo, I, I tell you, I tell you what, here, you take a little bit for your troubles. You know what I'm saying? Take, take a little bit of that right there. All right, baby, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I kept that PS5 too. And you enjoy that PS5. You worked hard for it. All right, I hit you. All right, now, my black brother. Ooh, money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Is there an issue? What is? Dad, what the hell you got going on? <laughs> hell, as far as you know, I ain't got a goddamn thing going on. <laughs> and I ain't seen shit. <laughs> and according to Benjamin and his cousins here, you ain't seen nothing either. <laughs> we get money on this side, boys. <laughs> Boom! Stay out 
the paint, boy. You too little. D, bro, I done told you about challenging me in 2K, bro. You think I'm gonna let you beat me on my system? Boy, you ass. Stop all that damn cussing in my house. Oh, my bad. Dang, D, your pop got some good ears. D. Keep letting them take it from me. Hey, do you hear me? And it's the Warriors on the break. And I know you hear me. What the? Daryl! Huh? Come in, Daryl! Are you alive, yeah, yeah, Daryl? Wake yeah, up, yeah. Daryl! Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. What's wrong with you? You good? Yeah. I'm straight. I'm straight. I just got some stuff in my mind. That's all. <sighs> D, bro. Look. It ain't nothing wrong with getting rejected, bro. What? Everybody can't be as cute as me. Or as talented as me. Or even smell as good as me. Bro, what are you talking about? Okay, bro. Basically what I'm saying is like, you gotta, you gotta embrace your ugly. You see what I'm saying? Don't let, don't let these females get you down. What? Bro, what the hell is, this ain't got nothing to do with no females. Oh. Well, what the hell are you sitting here all discombobulated for then? It's kind of a long story, but basically Pops went out and bought me a Xbox One. You know, and since you've been, you know, doing a good job with your chores around the house and handling your, you know, responsibilities as of lately, I decided to get you a gift. The man said they had one last Xbox One. And if I wanted it, he could work out a deal with me. So, Dad, you really got me an Xbox One? Son, you deserve it. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pops bought you an Xbox One? Well, Kinda. Like pop you in your lip pops. Yeah. You talking about Harry Potter glasses pops. Yes, bro. Pops bought me an Xbox. What? I can't believe that. So what's the problem? That's dope. The problem is he bought the wrong thing. He bought the wrong... What you mean? Okay, so... He thought he was getting me an Xbox One, but what he actually got... was this. Damn, this is a goddamn cinder block. What the hell is this? All right, here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Feel like a knife. Bam! What you think? Did I do good? Exactly. He meant to give me an Xbox One, but instead he got the first Xbox. Okay, so just go return it. Well, um, I can't because one, he didn't get the warranty, so he can't return it, and two, I think I think he might have paid somebody to burn down the pawn shop. I ain't, I ain't really too sure. I'm still a little confused about that. You gotta go back and watch the video to get the details and all that good stuff. But anyway, the issue is, since that Xbox don't connect to our TV, I told my subscribers that I would give it away to one of them for free. Okay, and what do you say about that? See, that's the problem. Uh, see, I, I haven't asked him yet, cause I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Cause I, I know he went through a lot to, to you know say, get that Xbox for me, so. No, bro. Yo pop is a cool, nice and loving individual and i'm pretty sure he gonna understand so what he probably went to the ends of the earth to find it so what he spent his hard-earned money to get you this xbox so what he almost caught a felony charge for burning down the pawn shop it was all to make you his only son happy d you gonna go back there and you gonna walk into your daddy room and you gonna look him in the face and you basically gonna say you ain't shit, and i don't give a damn about you and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And D, bro, I, bro, I, from the bottom of my heart, bro, I really, really, really think he gonna understand. <laughs> you finna get your ass beat. Come on, bro, it's not even funny. I'm being for real. All right, all right bro, look, 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 bro, look. Okay, look, all you gotta do, bro, is just go in there and be honest with him, right? All you, okay, look, all you gotta do is go in there and be like this, right? <clears throat> Father, I love and appreciate you. And I just want to say thank you so much for all you went through to get that Xbox for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect to our TV. And they don't make games for it anymore, so I have no use for it. And so I figured I'd ask for this opportunity to bless one of our loyal supporters, one of your fans, with a free Xbox. Only if that's okay with you. Because I know not only will they love it and cherish it, but they'll love you even more for being so generous. So, with your permission, Father, I'd love to give the Xbox away for free to one of your loyal fans. Is that okay with you?
Can you go ask him for me? What? The same way you just did that. Go in there and do that to him. Hell no, that's your daddy. Your daddy crazy as hell. Come on, bro. You owe me anyway. Owe oh, you for what? Well, where should I begin? You got me jumped by a gang. You told the police I help you rob a bank. You told all right, all right, bro. All right. Do it the same way you just did it. I got you, bro. Hey, Pop. Who the hell is you? I want a Daryl friend. Want a who? I want a Daryl friend. Who the hell is Daryl? Your son, Daryl. My son? Who the hell is your... Oh, damn. I, I forgot about that damn boy. What the hell you want? So you remember that Xbox you worked so hard to get for Daryl and spent your hard-earned money to get? Uh-huh. What about it? He told me to tell you that he don't want it. What? You wasted your damn money, so he told me to ask you if he could give it away for free on the internet. Excuse me? He told me to ask you if he could give it away on the internet for free. F R. Daryl! Oh, hell. What the hell is this I hear about you giving my shit away for free? Um, I do you know what the hell I went through to get that damn PS box for you and you just gonna give it away for free? Okay, Dad, listen, listen. I, <clears throat> um, Father, I just want you to know that I love and appreciate- Shut your damn mouth! You little ungrateful ass wife, let me tell you something. I went out of my way and spent my hard earned money to get your little ass a gift and now you telling me you got the damn audacity to tell me that you want to give it away for free. Read my lips and listen to me closely when I tell you this. You don't lost your damn mind. Negro, is you crazy? Dad, just, just hear me out, okay? Look, Dad, I really do appreciate you going out of your way to get me this Xbox, but I really can't use it. One, the cord doesn't connect to our TV. Two, they don't make games for it anymore. And three, you got your money back. So, why not give it to one of your fans that love you and support you and stuff like that, you know, because if, if, if you give them a free Xbox, you know what I'm saying, they're going to they, they love you, you know what I'm saying, they're going to love you even more. You know what I'm saying, like you might really make their day or you might, you might even make their year, you know what I mean? Don't you like to make other people feel good? Hell no! Okay, uh, well don't you want to make your fans feel good? You Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, cool. But understand me when I tell you this. I'm not buying your ass nothing else. Not a shirt, not a game, not a, not a damn sock. Well, dang, what, what if I get sick and need some medicine or something? What well, damn it, you better pray about it. Pray about it? Give it to God. What well, damn? Glory! Okay, well, anyway, we, we got to pick a winner, so how you want to do it? Excuse me? How you want to choose the winner for the giveaway? I got, I got to give it away and do all the damn work? <sighs> never mind, never mind, I'll do it. God damn it, yes you will. I'm just the face. I just look good for the camera. Your ass handle all that other stuff. All right. I'm the star. You the peasant. You handle your peasant and do this, I'll be in my trailer. And by trailer, I mean the bathroom, because I got the bubble goods. Okay, Dad. I got the boo-boos. All right. It's about to be a mud slide. Dad, okay, I get it. I'll take care of it. I'm the star. Hit him with the Michael Jackson. Moonwalk on it. Moonwalk on his ass. Daryl, come get this damn boy out of here before I throw him in the trash. A few moments later. Got me on the camera. I look rough today. All right, Dad, you ready? You need to hurry up before I change my mind. All right, so the person's name is going to be chosen at random, so all you got to do is reach in this hat right here, pull out a name, and as soon as you pull the name out, just say the winner of the hashtag OG Xbox giveaway is blank. You got it? Yes, duh, I got it. Okay, pick a name out of the hat. The winner of the PS Elemental P Q box is such and such and such. Can we please hurry this up so I can go back to watching All-American? All right, here you go. Lord have mercy, always talking. Can't never just do something. Shut up sometimes. Talk too damn much. All right, now we recording in three, two, one. Welcome. Welcome. Now, <clears throat> my son has recently decided that um that I ain't. You know, and, 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 and that he can just, you know, waste my damn money like it ain't nothing. Um, but luckily, luckily for you all, 
Um, I actually love and care about my fans and my supporters. And so today what I will be doing is I will be announcing the winner of the OBGYN Elemental PPS box. That is hashtag OG Xbox giveaway. Who the hell is you? I'm sorry, excuse me for one second. Well, what the fuck? Hey. Me. Dad, I was just trying to help. I ain't asking for no damn help. You keep your mouth shut. Alright, dang. Nobody asked you for your damn input. Let's get started, shall we? And the winner of the new PS box is your mama. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I could, I could help it. I could help it. Ooh, that's funny to me. That's funny to me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get serious. All right. The winner of the new PS box is Lewis Alton. Lewis Alton, Lewis, thank you so much for supporting and looking to me as the role model in which I am and try to be. My son, Daryl, shortly after this video, will be reaching out to you via Instagram uh, to get your information to ship you your new PS box. Again, thank you for your love and your support. Hopefully you don't take it for granted like this heathen son of mine. All right, now we good. I can handle the rest. All right. I'm gonna go watch my show, so if you need me, don't. Oh, Dad, before you go, can you cash out me the money for shipping and handling? No, excuse me? What? I, I gotta ship it to him? Yeah. Hold the hell on. Hold the <laughs> hell on. Hold the hell on. So, 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 not only did I spend $400 of my hard earned money, not only did I allow you to convince me to let you give the shit away for free? Not only did I risk a damn felony charge for burning down a damn pawn shop, but you tell you got the audacity out your damn lip to tell me I got to give your ass some more money? Well, um, duh, you. I swear to God, you got you got 1.2 seconds to get the hell out of my face before I snatch your damn nostrils. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I go to my room. You must have lost your damn mind. The audacity, damn kids. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm about to Will Smith slap his ass. <laughs> Lucky he the pastor. Oh, you wild, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I... What the hell? What? Dad! Dad, you good? Why is it so hot up in here? Daddy! No, wake up, Daddy! Wake up! Look at you got them hands off of you! The hell wrong with you? What the? Dad, I thought you was dead or something. Why you laying on the floor? Well, hell no, I ain't dead. So why you laying on the floor like that? And big homie, hey, why I feel like we just walked into hell? Bro, shut up. You ain't hot? Anyway, my doctor told me I need to start exercising and eating right. Because Cause you getting old. Because I'm getting up in age. Up in age, my ass. He getting old. I throw the damn couch over there. Okay, 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 dad. But the question is, why you laid out on the floor? What? Well, well, originally I got down here to do some push-ups and some sit-ups and... Hell, I guess I fell asleep. Oh, see? See what? Old people do that. They just fall asleep on accident. God damn it, boy, let me tell you something. You got one more time to call me old before I stuff you in that damn VCR. VCR? Dad, what is a VCR? What the hell are you talking about? You know what a damn VCR is. Over there by my record player. Record player? Don't play down with me. You know what a damn record player is. On top of my boom box. What are you talking about? I'm going to shut the hell out. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The damn boom box by the damn DVDs where the cassette tapes at. Uh, Dad, you sure you're all right? Am I all right? What, 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 what the hell you mean by that? Ain't nothing wrong with me, something wrong with you. You all right? You all right? Yeah, I'm straight. Walk in. Get in the hell out of my face. All right, Dad. Dang. Got time for this? Come on, bro. What I tell you, D? He old. 
messing with my damn dreams. Megan and Stallion was about to give me a lap dance for you walked in. Hey, do you something wrong with your daddy, bro? <laughs> Trust me, bro. I know. Can't stand these kids. Talking about old. I ain't know what I'm experienced. Damn kids. Nobody old. Hey, but what you been up to, bro? I feel like I ain't seen you in a while. Hey, goddamn. I mean, y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the lab. You know what I'm saying? Just cooking up some heat. You know what I'm saying? Like the last single I dropped hit a hundred thousand screams. So you know what I'm saying? Like you serious? I mean, goddamn, I ain't never been on the count. What? You feel me? Like so, bro? That's crazy. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't saying I'm popping or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But you feel me? Like <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna keep it a band. You feel me? Like nah, bro. For real, congratulations. But that's that's dope. That's a lot of streams, bro. I mean, I mean, goddamn it, it ain't that many. You see what I'm saying? What? Yes, it is. You right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, come on, like, at this point, I'm the best rapper in the world, hands down. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I wouldn't say all that. I mean, I just think about it, D. Who better than me, bro? For, like, for, I do this for real, for real, bro. Like, like, I'm your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. You feel me? So, like, who better than me? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> James, you got, like, three songs, bro. But they all hits, though, so it don't matter. <laughs> all right, bro. Like, D, I swear to God, bro, I really do this, bro. Like, I keep a studio in my back pocket, goddamn, just in case I got to drop bars on somebody. You feel me? <laughs> you a fool, bro. Oh my god, man. Hey, goddamn, did somebody make a joke? Nah, I'm saying like... What the hell you... Where all this stuff come from? I mean, yeah, hey, goddamn, I, like, I'm just saying like, you over there laughing, I'm trying to tell you I do this for real, for real, like this, this really my life, like I really live by this life. You feel me? Like, I just told you, goddamn, I got a hundred thousand screens, you feel me? You over there, you know what I'm saying? Kiki, you know what I'm saying? Like, something funny, I ain't told no damn joke. You feel me? Like, like what, you want me to rap or something and prove to you that I'm the best in the world? No, bro, you ain't even got, I believe you, you ain't even got. Goddamn, they call me Big James, because I'm the best in the world. These boys are so hot, I can take your girl. We go get some ice cream, I get a chocolate swirl. If anybody pull up, I hold them down like a twirl. Pow, pow, pull up at his face. Better get up by my face before I hit them with the pepper spray. I can't have no weapon because my mama say I'm too young, but that's okay. I still put that thing to his face like Big Jane being the really good one. I can't get no damn sleep in my house where I pay the bills. And let me tell you why. Because my son and his non rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, or his name is Big James. How about Big? I don't give a damn what your name is. How about that? Now, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, my son and his non-rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, are in here making all this damn racket, so I can't get no damn beauty sleep in my own house. Did this man just say beauty sleep? Like, come on, bro. All right, Dad, sorry. James was just rapping, that's all. You were doing what? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I've been on this earth over 40 years, and I can tell you right now, what I just heard coming through this damn door was not rap. It was crap. Hey, goddamn! <laughs> I, I, I be you know what I'm saying? I know, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? This your house. You feel me? But you gonna have to, goddamn, put some respect on my name. I don't know, I don't know if you heard. You see what I'm saying? I got 100,000 screens. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the best rappers alive. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You talking about, you talking about crap. You know what I'm saying? You better goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Watch your mouth. You feel me? If I, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, first of all, <laughs> I can guarantee. The only thing I'm going to be watching is your body hit this damn flow if you don't watch who you talking to. Secondly, now, maybe my ears was deceiving me because they have a habit of doing that. But did you just say that you was one of the best rappers alive? I did. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I, I stand by that. You feel me? Like, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even one of the best rappers alive. <laughs> I'm going you know to keep it a stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the best rapper on the planet. What planet? Planet Earth. Which Earth? The one we standing in right now. Matter of fact, bro, I, Big James, am the bestest rapper to ever bless the globe, bro. Matter of fact, y'all ought to be honored to be in my presence. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Like. <laughs> boy, boy, you funny. You, you real funny. Bad, you funny. Bad, hey, you funny. Y'all just some haters, bro. Like. <laughs> Look here. Look here, Big Lane. 
it'll be a cold day in hell before I hate on anything you got going on. <laughs> and secondly, let me tell you this. Hell been done froze over before they named you the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> bro, y'all lame, bro. Like, I'm leaving, bro. Y'all y'all don't even deserve to be in the same space as me, bro. Like, hell, I ain't taking this, bro. Come on, bro. You ain't got to leave. It's not that serious. I ain't got to take this, bro. Like, I don't go. I let my hater be my motivator. You feel me? I don't got to. Nah, here, I'm going to save it. I'm an OG. Goddamn, I do this. <laughs> Yeah, that made my day. <laughs> Talking about he the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> you ain't even the best rapper in this house. I rap better than you. Ain't that something? Oh, you must not know. You forgot my name. Let me remind you who I am. OG Big James. I'm the realest on the mic. When I spit these flames, you think you tough, old man? You really just lame. Oh God, I'ma keep it a stack. You better watch your attitude before you really get smacked. I knock them damn glasses off your eyes and hit you with a two piece, then you really be blind. Then you scaring people with that old ass belt, but your breath so hot it make my eyebrows melt. Everybody else scared to stand up to you. Well, goddamn, if girl ain't gonna do it, I do it myself. Hold up, now sucker, you don't know about me, cause I'm the real OG, big POP. I pull the belt out and people get to flee in the scene, cause they know. When I swing, it's gon' goddamn sting You a buster, living with your mama And everywhere you go, you just seem to bring drama You smell like ass and you look like a llama If you spit flames, then I guess I'll spit lava Cause I'm just hotter, I will if I gotta Turn you into a genius, stuff your ass in a bottle What you need is a good old-fashioned beating from a father I punch you in the chest and fold your ass like a dollar You better watch your mouth when you're talking to a savage Two glocks full of bullets, you can get both rounds If you don't know me, you better ask somebody I'm the P.O.P. and I be holding it down on God, no cap, straight up, don't tolerate disrespect I can call up the game real quick, they'll pull up and scoop your ass up like a fishing net You got everybody scared thinking that you tough, but Big James, I ain't even really stressing, no Cause I'ma keep it a hundred, I can't really be scared of somebody who first name is Hester, bro I'm about to really cook this man like a vegetable, you think you hard but you soft like a section, no I suggest you take a seat for your knees give out, cause you know that your bones ain't that flexible Cause you old, you old. and you know this, and you know it. your ass as old as Moses And you got four eyes And you still can't focus On the fact that I floated On this beat like the ocean I might be old But my rhyme's still cold Even when I hit a hundred I'ma still be dope These bones made a gold bomb in beast mode Tell you what Since you're broke I'ma give you free smoke You ain't even on my level You a waste of my time How you call yourself a rapper And you getting out rhyme By four-eyed old man And I ain't even trying I be the Big James Your career done died Boy, I been an OG Since before you was around Big James ain't nothing more Than a big clown For your mind I would go and check the lost and found Cause you forgot I'm the real big papa And I hold it down Whatever bro Yeah that's right whatever I mean either way like I still won What? So Boy you a damn lie D, D tell the truth I won right Uh Hell no son tell the truth He ain't win a goddamn thing I obliterated his ass didn't I I mean, y'all both did, bro. Oh God, bro, you old as dirt, bro. You can't rap, you garbage. Hold up, now wait a minute. Now you got damn giraffe neck, bobber head, cockroach looking, tight ass headband wearing, can't rap worth a damn little skinny beetle. Let me tell you something. Aye, I don't give a damn aye. who you think you are. You need to say you might be a in my and I will put this guy on your ass. Ass. Do you understand it? I don't know, I don't know who the hell you think he's talking to in your old hood house. You understand? But you in my house. You understand? So I just want to say it to my pistol. Put my damn pistol at it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. How about this? How about. We let the people decide. I tell you what, how about we let the people decide? That's what I just said. You just said what? Like I said, he old. You know what? I, I don't have it with your ass today. I don't have it with your ass. Get your daddy, get your daddy. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Brother Maze! Pass what the hell wrong with you? I almost shot your ass. Brother Maze. Jesus! Doth not like profanity. Jesus doth not like a lot of things. The hell you want? Well, brother, I was leaving from the grocery store and I spotted you walking on down here. I said, well, that there, that there is Brother Mage. Let me go and say hello. We, well, hello, Pastor. And how is everything, my beautiful brother in Jesus? Everything is fine. 
Amen, brother. The Bible says, even in the midst of troubles, there he is. Make an amen from somebody. Shut your ass up. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, whatever. You got your Bible on your brother? What? Damn. Unfortunately, Pastor, I left my damn Bible in my coat, and my coat is at the damn house. Oh, ain't no problem, ain't no problem. Here you go, right here. What the hell is... Well, I keep the word of God on me at all times, brother. Brother, turn with me now in your Bible. To Luke 1, 37. I said Luke 1, 37. When you get it, can you say amen? Pastor. And we reading. The Bible say in Luke 1, chapter 37, it says, For nothing. <laughs> Let me say it again for the people in the back. For nothing. For nothing <laughs> will be Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't happen to have a dollar on you, would you? No, nigga, don't you see me preaching? You get your bum ass on somewhere. Hey, what's wrong with you? See me ministering. Damn, the hell wrong with these heathens. Bless God. Look at Pastor. For nothing <laughs> will be impossible <laughs> with God. <laughs> but I want you to know that even in the midst of this coronavirus, amen. You can still pay your tithes and offerings, brother. Pastor! I want you to know, brother, that every day at 12 o'clock, the tithes and offering basket will be outside in the parking lot, amen, of the church. All you got to do is drive on by, dump your money in the basket, and drive your ass, excuse me, drive off into the fire. Of God. <laughs> Do me a favor. I don't hear my damn car like that no more. Brother, these is holy hands. And these are holy field hands. Like I said, don't hear my damn car like that no more. Brother, turn with me. Pastor, 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 pastor. I got place to be now. Come on now. I got place to be. Well, brother, I suggest on the way, you stop by that offering basket unless you want to relinquish your seat in the church. What the hell is you talking about relinquish my seat? What seat? Exactly what the hell I said. Brother, you either going to pay your tithes and offerings or you ain't going to have no damn chair. You going to be standing on your feet or sitting on your ass. And that flow is wooden, so I suggest that you choose wisely. You should just... This nigga here... Well, how about I just choose another goddamn church? How about that? Well, brother, I know you ain't been in church that long, but uh, the Bible say that church hoppers go to hell. And what scripture is that, Pastor? God damn it, the one you ain't read. All right, Pastor. All right, Pastor. Yeah, you can go to hell for all I care. I gotta go. I got places to be. I ain't got time for this shit. Remember what I said now? Every day <laughs> at 12 o'clock, <laughs> drop your money in the basket <laughs> and drive off <laughs> into the favor. <laughs> I said the favor. <laughs> Who the hell is you think you honking at? I'm a goddamn minister. I'll whoop your ass. Who the, are you big? You big and bad? What kind of damn pastor? I gotta find me a new goddamn church. God damn. We all go to hell. Hey, Dad. I ain't got no money. What you talking about? Why don't you see me trying to get some rest? Dad, this is important. And so is my beauty sleep. Once you get my age, you'll realize I don't just wake up like this. This is a process. And sleep is a part of that process. So unless you want a damn lamp flying in your direction, I suggest you remove yourself immediately. Okay, Dad. I was just going to tell you we hit 100,000, but I guess I'll just, I'll just come back later. Mm -hmm. You do that. Okay. Messed up my damn beauty sleep. <clears throat> what the hell you say? Oh, not, nothing. It's, it, it's not important. Nothing. I said, what did you say? Nah, nah, that is cool. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt your sleep or nothing. Go ahead. I'll I, I come back to it. Girl, 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 girl. I'm going to ask you one more time before I get physical. What the hell did you just say? Oh, I was just saying we hit 100,000. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm R-I-T-H, rich, yeah, rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm R-I-T-H, rich, yeah, I'm rich, rich, I'm 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 
might have the wrong idea. But I don't give a damn, boy. I'm rich. I'm going to give me a goddamn boat. I'm going to give me a goddamn car. Hell, I might even get you a scooter or something. Damn. Oh, ah. Dang. But what, boy, don't you see me celebrating? Celebrate with me, boy. Celebrate with your daddy. Woo! Boy, I'm going to break out the praise there, boy. I feel like I'm in the goddamn church. Boy, you know, dad, not $100,000. $100,000 is some subscribers. Get your hell in my face before I drop kicking your damn chest. Yeah. I'll peel your damn face back. Make me think I want a hundred thousand damn dollars. Got me jumping around looking like a damn fool. Dad, dad, dad. I don't think you understand. We got a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. I don't got no damn YouTube. I ain't got no YouTube. I ain't got no damn uh, Facegram. I ain't got no TikTok. No Insta Snap. I don't got none of that. Well, I mean, technically, you do though. Wait, what the hell is you talking about technically? Every time you open your damn mouth, I get more and more confused. Okay, okay, dad, 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 dad. So, for the last, like, I don't know, like five or six years or so, I've been secretly recording you and putting it on YouTube. You nasty little freak! What? You got me naked on the internet! Oh, damn! You been selling my body to strangers? Damn, what are you talking about? Ugh! I knew there was something wrong with your ass! You got all these damn cameras around here, always locked up in the damn room! You got me on them damn nasty sites, don't you? Dad, no, it's no, it's not like that. What well, goddamn it was it like then, girl? Dad, I'm not recording you doing nothing nasty or naked or nothing like that. I'm just recording like, you know what I mean? Just you being you, like, like your everyday life, like when you get mad, when you go places and stuff like that. So like the little um prank call that me and Jay pulled on you the other day, like like I recorded it and put it up on YouTube. It's stuff like that. I ain't, ain't no nasty stuff. I never gave you permission to do any of that. As of today, that's over. I don't wanna see another damn camera in my damn house. Alright, alright. And let me find out you got my boot out here on the internet. You gonna have a hundred thousand dicks in your damn head. All right, all right, Dad, I'll stop recording you. Good. Well, I guess I'll just go tell all 100,000 of your fans that you don't care about them. You gonna do that. All right. The hell won't you put me on the damn internet? What a lost in the You said fans? Hmm? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Man, Pop, they love you. They don't, they don't really care about me like that, but they love them some Pops now. <clears throat> uh, uh, tell me more about these, uh, 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 fans. Oh yeah, Dad. They think you hilarious. They think you hilarious. They think you a great role model, a great dad, an amazing parent to the youth. You know what I mean? They love you. Like I post videos sometimes with me and my friends and stuff. I mean, they like them and stuff like that, but they love your videos, Dad. <laughs> I guess I am a role model, aren't I? <laughs> well, I, you know, I guess I wouldn't want to disappoint the fans, you know, so uh, I guess you can keep it up there for now. But don't let me find out you got me out here bare chested now. Dad, of course not. All right. Dad, you know what you should do? Go back to sleep. I was thinking the same damn thing. No, 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 Dad. You should do a Q&A with your fans. Do a who the what now? A Q&A, like a question and answer with your fans. Like, I sent them a message saying, yo, send Pop some questions for him to answer. And they sent me a lot. So they really want to hear from you, Pop. I mean, hey, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you don't want to disappoint the fans. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I mean, I guess you're right. I guess I could do a little... A and B for the fans, you know? It's Q and A. How about I knock the head out you? Oh, okay. I'm gonna, oh, oh, go grab the key. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Correct me in my damn house. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, Dad, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just read the questions off from here and you just answer from there, all right? Huh? I said I'm gonna read- uh, I thought my brother just said something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard, I heard it on the radio earlier. I thought <laughs> I thought that was funny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord, what you gonna do with me? <laughs> okay, you ready? I uh, so is. <laughs> Make sure you give me a good side now. Well, the camera's straight ahead, so, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, Dad, question number one. Just the 10 said, why is Pop so ugly? Your mama! Oh, Dad, chill, I think they just joking, man. What damn it all joke? I ain't no damn comedian. Matter damn fact, send him a message. Send him, tell him to call me ugly one more time, you know? Go ahead, send, send him a damn message, tell him to call me ugly one more time. Okay, <clears throat> um, Commander, I think it's Commander Bobo, Said, can I get a dog? Hell no, he ain't getting no damn dog. You got dog money? Goddamn dog, you gotta buy damn leashes, gotta buy damn collars, 
got about food and eat snacks and treats and they get sick, got by medicine. You might, might as well be taking care of another damn human. <laughs> and they don't pay no bills? <laughs> I be damn, they get no damn dog in my house. Google Trooper said, how are you not in jail? <laughs> Cause I ain't never being caught. <laughs> Next question. All right, Fade Out Guy said, can I borrow your shirt? And for what? No, 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 yeah, this is a good question though. This is a good one. Cause a lot of people be asking me like, yo, why Pops always wear the same purple shirt? He ain't got to wear the clothes? Like, <laughs> oh, well, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, This right here is my work shirt. So whenever you see me in this shirt, that mean I'm either going to work or I just got off. Okay, so can he borrow it? Hell no. Tabitha Woods said, why are you so mean? What the hell you talking about mean? I ain't mean. It, it just depends on how you approach me. If you approach me with hostility, I respond with weaponry. If you approach me with respect, then about 45% of the time, you gonna get respect back. It's simple math. All right, so Ghetto Swag got a few questions. He said, um, one, are you a Christian? Hell, I think so. How many years did you serve in jail? None of your damn business. Where's the wife? I ain't never been married. Why are you so hard on your son? Well, uh, Mr. Ghetto, um, the world was hard on me. And uh, Dara is soft as hell. And so, in order to survive in this world, you gotta have some thick skin. So, that's why I'm always on Dara about not being a damn sissy, because at, the, at this point in his life, he a damn sissy. So, um, I wouldn't say I'm hard on him. You know, it's just that, you know, the world was hard on me and uh, I'm just trying to help him. Okay, and is your son the only child? As far as he knows, yes he is. Ryan Gilmore said, what's your favorite candy? <laughs> I like chocolate. <laughs> if you catch my drill. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I have to say, uh, you know, uh, M&M's, you know, Kit Kats, stuff like that. All right, so I think it's uh, EX Mo Slam or IX Mo Slam. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, asked, who are you? Who is Pops? Well, um, I am an individual who uh, doesn't take nonsense from anybody. Um, I have what is called a zero tolerance policy, meaning unless you want to get dealt with, I suggest you leave me alone. Simply put. All right, so um, Spiral W-Y-D or Spiral What You Doing said, Pops the GOAT. I ain't no damn GOAT. I kick your ass. No, Dad, GOAT is an acronym. It means you're the greatest of all time. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Your girl Jayla said, Pops, can I have $20? <laughs> hell, I wish I had it. <laughs> Sound like we both broke as hell. <laughs> Michael Vance said, how come you always talk about the women you used to have? Why don't you have one now? Well, uh, if I'm being honest, um, it's a lot of holes out here. And um, I just don't trust it, you know? I you don't trust women? No, I don't trust myself. Cause you break my heart, I break your ass. Okay, next question. Um, Madria Jones said, why you always complaining? God damn it, cause I can. I pay the damn bills. The, the Bible say. Next question. Hollow Industry said, how are babies made? Um, you go to Miami uh, on vacation and, you know, you go down to a club, you know, and you meet a nice little lady, you know, and you're dancing and just having a good time, you know, and uh, you see, you know what I'm saying, she got a little, she got a little boot on her, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, you know, you get to dancing, you get to, you know what I'm saying, talking, flirting or whatever, you know, and little do you know, in the dark, because the lights be off, in the dark, she look good. You know, uh, but it's not until the next morning when you wake up next to her that you say, damn, she look like Dracula. And, uh, um, you know, you part ways and uh, you get a call in about three, four, five, maybe six weeks. And she say, I'm pregnant. And uh, lo and behold, you end up with a girl. What well, damn. Okay. Next question. Christiana Watkins said, what do you do when you are bored? Hmm, what do I like to do when I, what do, you know what? I like to bite my, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean clip my toenails. All right, um, GL1Mac, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Glo, 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 okay. <laughs> Asked, why is the house always dirty? 
Daryl, you want to answer that? <clears throat> uh, next question. Um, Gloriving Rodriguez asked, "Why do you always cuss?" I don't cuss. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay. Um, Ben Ten Gang said, "Do you ever cry?" Hmm. Well, um, the last time I cried was uh, I want to say about four years ago at church. Um, you cried at church? Yeah, I stubbed my toe on the damn pew. I was walking down the damn aisle, uh, going to get an offering, I think, and I kicked the damn pew. It hurt like hell. I told I, I was cussing up a storm. I said, I'm keeping keep my damn money. These pew tried to kill me. But uh, I think that was the last time I cried. Boy, I cried like a damn baby. I had to, I would I'd be ashamed of myself. <clears throat> All right, um, Glizzy the Gamer asked, what's your body count? You talking about body count? Or you talking about body count? The second one, Dad. Oh, oh that, that, not that many, probably about, what, three, four, five, six, hundred, something like that, not, not, nothing too crazy. Three-legged table asks, how about you do the chores? How about I pay the damn bills instead? I don't got to do no damn chores. All right, um, Pikachu Master 434 asks, yeah. how many cases have you caught? <laughs> Hell, um, I want to say maybe about two <clears throat> that <clears throat> this video going to be on the internet, so you might not want to. Oh, <clears throat> zero. Jeremy Fields wants to know, Pops, do you have anger issues? No, I ain't got no damn anger issues. Why everybody keep asking me that? Jaden Brown asks, yo, Pops, what was it like growing up? Rap music actually made sense. I don't know what the hell y'all be. I heard one more on the radio uh, today talking about uh, I knock the legs off when I beatbox. I said, what the hell kind of these little boys do it? Ain't it? Say what the hell is he talking about? Knock your legs off when I beatbox. I said, what kind of sense did that make? That made no damn sense. They put anybody on the damn radio. Lady K wants to know, Pops, where do you work to pay all these bills? Oh, I work with children. Okay, you want to elaborate? Well, um, I realized that um, it's a lot of badass kids out here. And a lot of these new parents don't like to whoop their children. See, and that's why I come in. See, so what I do is for a small fee, a small fee, and with the belt of your choice, I come over to your house. You give me a designated room. I take your baby into that designated room and I wear that ass out. And um, really all I need, uh, five minutes, nothing more, nothing less. And uh, I can guarantee I can guarantee that you won't have another problem out of them. And if you do still have issues out of them, I guarantee I come back, I give you a guaranteed 15 minute session for free. <laughs> and they don't want that. Ah, I swear to God they don't want that. Cause when I come back, I'm bringing my metal belt. I call it the slicer. See, my metal belt is about six feet long like in here. And it got thorns going down the side of it. And I take that goddamn belt and I go bah, slap the back. Boy, they don't, they don't want me to come back. <laughs> I did, they want me to come back, because if I come back, it's going to be hell to pay. Yeah, so uh, I just provide, you know, a service where I help the new parents to discipline their young children. Um, yeah, that's what I do for a living. That's what I that, that will pay for the damn house. Dang. Yes, sir. I do all ages from six months to 30 years. If you have any problems, just call me, send me a message. I come over to your house, and I'll tear that ass up for you. That's what I do. I'm professional. Well, uh, okay, next question. Enzo St. Louis or St. Louis said, have you ever passed anger management class? I ain't never needed my anger managed. So if you ask me, you goddamn right I passed it. <laughs> my anger management called me the other day talking about, talking about we need to have another session. I just said another session. <laughs> talking about he'll see me in May. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we gonna see about that. Apple asks Pops, when are the only times you feel calm? When I'm on the toilet, it ain't no time like it. It's sacred. <laughs> All right, Dad. Slushy Slushy wants you to repeat after me. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked... Peter pulled a pistol. Peter pack a pistol. F Peter, how about that? All right, Keanu Gaiden asks, Pops, can I please ask you a question and promise you won't get mad? When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the question is, did I ever have it? <laughs> well, I was a player pimp. All right, Dad, last question. Everybody want to know. Everybody want to know. Um, question was sent in by Arush Sangvi. I hope I said that right. Um, he asked, when is mom coming back 
Pretty sure she's the only one who can calm him down. Hold on, first of all, I don't need nobody to calm me down. I'm naturally calm, damn it. Understand that first and foremost. Secondly, she definitely ain't gonna be the one. Who the hell is calling me in the middle of my... Speak of the damn devil. Yeah. Yeah, that's not how you answer the phone. What? I'm gonna call you back and we're gonna try that again. Woman, I swear to God, if you hang up the... I, you, you make sure you cut this part out. Hello. That's more like it. Woman, what the hell you want to talk to my fans? Fans? Yes, I said fans. I'm an internet sensation if you didn't know. Right. We're derelict. Hey, mom. Hey, honey. I'm coming to get you this weekend. Okay, man. You uh 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 no uh uh no. This weekend ain't gonna work. Uh, Daryl is on punishment this weekend. Him and his little friend called himself prank calling me the other day, so Daryl is grounded. Well, you gonna have to ground him when he get back, cause he coming with me this weekend. Wait a goddamn minute, now I'm you- I'm going back and forth with you, Hester. So on Friday, I'm coming to get him, end of story. Daryl, be ready on Friday, okay? Okay. Woman, well, let me explain something to you. I run- I- uh, I swear to God. One day, goddammit, I'm just- <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, just uh, grab the camera and I'm gonna we'll close the video out. Hey, Daryl, how's it going? Me and the wife are planning a little day night tonight and want to know if you can watch our baby for us. You any good with children? You want me to watch your baby? I feel so honored. Absolutely. I'd love to watch your baby for you. Am I good with children? You betcha. I love kids and they love me. Ooh, we'll play games. And we can do arts and crafts. We'll have a dance party. We'll play hide and seek. We're gonna have a great time. And I'll make sure to put him to bed for you. You know what, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to pay me. The happiness of your baby will be payment enough. I'll tell you what, let me throw some clothes on and I'll be right there. You want me to watch your baby? Do I look like a daycare teacher to you? I can barely take care of my own kids. You want me to take care of yours? Am I good with children? Hell no. I don't like them and they don't like me. Kids is nasty. Damn snot and boogers and poop and pee. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta change their diapers and feed them. Gotta clean up after them. Anybody got time for that? Kids is too much work. Plus they rude. They disrespectful. They don't like to listen. Hell, I been unchoked your baby. Nope. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. What if we pay you $200? I'll be there by five minutes. Thanks again for agreeing to watch our baby while we go out. I think we went over everything. You need anything else from me? No, sir. I think we're all good here. Well, let me just be sure. You said no candy. No scary movies. You said no juice after seven. Can I give him drugs? <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, you got something to make him sleepy just in case I got... You know what? Never mind. You said the diapers are in the bathroom. You said the food is in the kitchen cabinet. I got both of y'all phone numbers. In case of an emergency, you said to call Uncle Al, right? No, 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 no. We said call anybody but Uncle Al. Uncle Al tried to sell our baby for some Jordans last year. Which Jordans? Was it the fours or what? You know what? Never mind. Anyway, I think that's everything. And the last thing you said is to make sure he's in bed by 8 o'clock. That's no problem. So I think we're good. Now you guys go on and enjoy yourselves. I got everything under control here. <clears throat> yeah, real quick before you go, I need you to sign this form for me. So basically what it says is, in case of an emergency, you give me permission to use my hand, a belt, a switch, an extension cord, a steel chair, a frying pan, or anything within my reach or grasp. To discipline your baby if things get out of hand. Um, yeah, we actually don't believe in spanking our child. If he gives you any trouble, just give him his tablet and put him in the corner for timeout. He'll be fine. So I need your signature here, here, and here. I also need your initials here. Smile for the camera, please. Thank you. All right, stand still for me. I'm gonna just get a blood sample off you. Do me a favor. I need a urine test. Go and piss in this cup for me. All right, thank you very much. Now I just need two forms of ID from you. Here we go. Thank you. All right, now I just need you to speak into the microphone and repeat after me. I give Daryl Mays permission to whip my child's ass if he misbehaves. All right, that has been documented. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, and your total for the evening comes out to be... $265.24. And just for your information, I only take hundreds and I don't give change. All right? Nice doing business with you. You are dismissed. Hey, Daryl, what's going on? Just calling to make sure everything's all right. How's it going so far? Hey there. Everything's going great. We're having so much fun. That's awesome. What's he doing right now? Huh? <laughs> He's sleeping. Sit down! He's been an absolute delight. No trouble at all. Sorry. Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's just my grandfather's ashes. I'll just go get some more. <laughs> but yeah, everything's going great. You have an absolutely amazing child. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
better come get this little boy. I'm about to choke the hell out of him. He jumping on my couch. He done peed all over my floor. He done colored and scribbled all over my wall. This boy is a demon. I gave him four Benadryl. He still ain't tired. Why is he not tired? <laughs> I tell you, get your ass on my couch. <laughs> is that Christopher? Why is he crying? Cause he done busted his head on the coffee table. That's what you get. Maybe next time you'll think twice before you jump on my couch. What about that crying? I wanna hear that. Get up, you be alright. You be alright. <sighs> Feels great to be home. Christopher! <laughs> Boy, you better get back in the Before I tag you and you be it. <laughs> We just playing hot seat. <laughs> oh, Chris, well, you better run. I'm coming. <laughs> Crap, huh? Will you have enough of You see what happened when you don't spank your child? I'll tell you what. You might not spank him, but I'm about to beat his ass. Bring your ass back here, boy. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, you want to play like. Thanks for watching Christopher Forrest. How was he? Was he well behaved? Are you kidding me? No, thank you for giving me the opportunity to watch a little bundle of joy. He was great. He didn't cause any trouble at all. We had so much fun. I'm telling you, it flew by so fast. I don't even want to leave. But I got to. You're both wonderful parents. And you are so blessed to have a child like Christopher. He's one of a kind. A little angel sent from heaven. Well behaved. More like hell behaved. The boy is evil. He is the devil himself. He destroyed my furniture. He spilled my grandfather's ashes. He peed on my Bible. He threw up all over my carpet. I gave Give the boy 15 Benadryls. Does he not get tired or something? I am exhausted. Where y'all get this kid from? You might want to get him checked. Cause something ain't right. I was whooping the boy with my belt and he was laughing. Did you hear what I said? He was, mm -mm. something ain't right. If I was you, I'd get rid of him. Oh, real quick before you go. Would you want to watch Christopher again next weekend? Absolutely. I'd love to watch Christopher for you next weekend. No the hell I wouldn't, but I know who would. All right. Everybody to the room. I'll take it from here. Oh, Christopher. I received a call about a disturbance. No, wait, no. Just wanna take a minute. No, 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 no. Hey, coach. How I'm doing out there? I'm doing good? I, I, am I winning? I'm winning, right? What's going on? I, I can, can I go home yet? You're doing great out there. You just keep doing what you're doing. And don't forget the bob and weave. You can still win this thing. I believe in you. All you gotta do is catch him with his guard down. Then it'll be all over. You can go home and get you some ice cream. Hell no, you ain't winning. You getting your ass kicked out there. What the hell you think you doing? That ain't what we practice. Why you keep throwing your face into his fist like that? I ain't teach you that. Remember what I told you, Bob Weave? Damn, damn. Oh, damn, my bad. Coach, what you doing? You see him fight right now. What you hit me for? Suck it up. You be all right. Stop all that damn crying. You a man. I like it. Coach, I don't know if I can do this. This man is too fast. He's too strong. He didn't hit me in my head. I think I got a concussion. I'm seeing stars, son. I don't think I can do this, coach. What, 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 what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't wanna do this no more. Don't you ever say you can't. You can do whatever you put your mind to. The Bible say you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Boy, do you understand you got the strength of God? You can do this. Don't give up. Whether you win or lose, son, the most important thing is that you had fun and you tried your best. You know what? You got damn right. You ain't gonna win. You suck. You a loser. You despicable. You're absolutely pitiful. All that damn time we wasted in training. For what? For you to come out here and get your ass beat. And now you want to give up. Well, guess what? It's too late. The fight already started. So get your soft ass back out there. Either you gonna knock him out, or I'm gonna knock you out. And now put that on guard. Okay, coach. Can I get some water at least? I feel like I'm about to die. I need some water. I'm dehydrated, coach. My, my lips dry. You see, I got... I, I need some water, coach. Yeah. I need some water, coach. Can I get some water at least? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Make sure you drink all of that. Hydration is important. No, you can't get no water. You wanna know why? Cause water is for winners. Matter of fact, look at the scoreboard. Do it say winner beside your name? Let me answer that for you. No, the hell it don't. You got to earn your water. And you ain't earned it yet. But coach, what if I pass out? You better not. Well, let me tell you something. Whether you pass out or not is not my problem. If you was winning, you would have some damn water. So tell me this. Who problem is that? Exactly. Now go out there and earn it. Until then, you better drink that damn sweat. You know what, coach? You right! That's what I'm talking about! You can do it! Go out there and have fun! You ready? I'm ready! I'm ready! You need to go and get your ass! Let's go! You better get out there and you better ah! Damn! He knocked the hell out of you! Medic! Can I get a medic? Stop all that damn crying and shivering, boy! You embarrassing me! That's the pop maze! You on trial for the murder of murder! What the hell? What the hell you talking about murder? Hold the hell on, now you better get it right. <laughs> I ain't murdered nobody yet. Oh damn, um, uh, <laughs> my bad. Wrong file. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where was I at? Oh, damn. That's the pop.
pop maze, you are on trial for going 95 in a 30. First and foremost, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Mr. Judge, um, I'm a man of God, and I may be a lot of things. You know, people say I'm mean, angry, aggressive, violent. Some people say I'm handsome, <clears throat> a role model for the youth of today. But your highness, I can assure you, I it's your honor. Alright, whatever. I can assure you that I am no liar. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Eventually. Miss Mays, what the heck? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes or no? Yeah, uh. Mm hmm. Yep. Hell no! Not if the truth gonna get me locked up. I'm too pretty for jail. God damn it, I ain't going. By any means necessary. You can try to take me to jail if you want to. It's gonna be a fight to the death. We gonna be on the news. Who getting locked up today? Not me. Hell, if it's gonna keep me out of jail, I tell the lie, the whole lie, and nothing but the lie. And that's as the young kids say, on guard. <laughs> Mr. Mays, why were you speeding? Well, your majesty, see what happened was, I was on my way to feed the homeless after rescuing the cat from a tree. See, when I woke up late, because I was up all night knitting sweaters for kids in need. See, I was supposed to be in the soup kitchen by 9, but I woke up at 8.45. So as you can see, I was in a pinch. So I was in the car doing my Bible study, and I guess I was just so filled with the spirit, I didn't realize I was going that fast. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. Your royalness, I am so sorry. Because, goddammit, I was late to work. You ever been late to work? See, when you show up late, they dock your pay. You missed the big money. My money little. I need all the money I can get. See, I woke up late because I was up all night watching Netflix. Now, I was supposed to be at work by 7. I woke up at 9.15. So as you can see, my money was decreasing. So I hopped off my ass, got in my vehicle, and I burned rubber. And that's why I'm here, missing a whole day of pay to come argue with your ass. Do you understand that by going that fast, you were putting other people's lives in danger? Mr. Judge, listen. Damn it, Mr. Mays, it's your honor. Yes, sir, I am honored to be here. Mr. Judge, yes, I do understand I put other people's lives in danger. And that's why I'm ashamed of my actions. As the deacon of my church, this is unacceptable. I will think about that day for the rest of my life. Mr. Judge, I pray that you would have mercy on me. I will never do anything like this again. You have my word. Bruh, bit off. Is you not listening? I was late. The hell with the people in danger? My job was in danger. My money was on the line. If I don't pay these bills, who gonna pay them? Not you. Exactly. Was anybody hurt? Was anybody hit? Did I run over anybody? Hell no. So the way I see it, I have done nothing wrong. Case dismissed. <laughs> Mr. Mays, do you have any final words before I reach my verdict? Yes, your excellence. I just want to say I deserve whatever punishment you decide. My behavior was completely unacceptable. I mean, come on, I was going 65 miles over the speed limit. Am I crazy? I'm talking about like life sentence. Lock me up and throw away the key. As a matter of fact, you need to revoke my license. I don't deserve it. My Sunday school kids in my church would be so disappointed with me. Mr. Judge, I am ready for your verdict. Yeah, I just want to say this some bullshit. I don't see what the problem is. You see, my question is, why was the officer hiding in the bushes like that? Seems very suspect to me. You know something else? Not only was I docked for pay on that day, I'm missing a whole day of pay being here right now. Which means my check is gonna be short. So, the real question is, do you have any final questions before I hop that desk on your ass? Cause I believe you got me twisted, Mr. Judge. I tell you what, if I lose my job, it's gonna be me and you. So just be ready. I'ma roll your ass up like a burrito and then fold your ass like a lawn chair. Past the pop maze, I sentence you to 10 years in prison. No! Give me 15 to 20, Judge. I deserve it. I will sit in my jail cell and reflect on the horrible decision that I made. And I guarantee I'll be a better man when I get out at 75 years old. 10 years! All right, Mr. Maze, look like you coming with me. Hell no! Hey man, how's it going? I was just calling to see if you guys were open. And if so, what are your hours for today? First and foremost, sir, I'm blessed as hell. Thanks for asking. Secondly, that's a great question. You're darn tootin', we're open. We're open every day, Monday through Sunday, just to make sure that you have everything you need to be a satisfied customer. I can guarantee you, we'll be here every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Matter of fact, just in case you can't make it on time, I'll stay here until midnight just for you. It's my duty to make sure as a value customer that you're taken care of. As a matter of fact, you got a way to get here? You need a ride? I can go get my keys right now. All right, I just want to make sure you have a great experience with us. I look forward to seeing you soon, buddy. You be blessed as hell. Are we open? No, I'm, I'm just here answering the phone for fun. Did you not just hear me answer the damn phone? What kind of question is that? I swear to God, bro, I just got here don't start that. You ain't doing nothing but wasting my damn time. You could have Googled that. And let me tell you something. I don't know what they hours are, but my hours off from 8 to 2, and by 4 of them gonna be spent in the bathroom. On guard, bro, I ain't trying to do no work today, so don't even come up here, bro. You keep your ass at home till about 2 o'clock. Matter of fact, make it 2.30. I was late this morning, so I gotta make that time up. But after that, I don't give a damn where you go, who you know, what you doing. All I know is, I'm gonna be gone, headed home. So leave me alone and get the hell out this phone. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Do you work here? Well, absolutely I work here. I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. This is the best job in the world. Just look at how happy I am. No need to apologize. You want to ask me a question? I love answering customer questions. That's what they pay me for. To serve you. Come on, give me some work to do. What do you need? Need me to take something to your car? Need me to walk you to the other side of the store to find something? Need me to <laughs> whip your children? Need me to bury a body? Whatever it is, the answer is yes, sir, no problem. I can do that for you. I mean, do I work here? Well, 
keep asking me these stupid ass questions. You know what? No, no. I, I don't work here. I just bought this damn shirt off of Amazon. I stole me a name tag. It came here to stack boxes for free. You stupid or something? What the hell it look like? Get away from me, bro. I ain't got time for this, man. I swear to God, don't even talk to me, bro. Oh God, bro. I ain't answering no questions. I ain't going to get nothing from the back. I ain't helping you take nothing to your car. I got 30 minutes till I get off, bro. So real talk, on guard. If you ain't trying to get Will Smith slapped around here, I suggest you get out of my face. Would you mind checking to see if you have any more of these in the back? This was the last one on the floor. Bam! Oh my god! That is completely unacceptable. Of course I can check for you. I'll see to it personally that you get exactly what you're looking for. You wait right here. I'll be back. I can't believe this. Can't find it anywhere. God damn it, team, this is unacceptable. I cannot believe this at all. Where is the location? Ah! Oh my god! We're completely sold out. What am I gonna tell the customer? <laughs> there has to be another way. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm so sorry, sir. Unfortunately, we seem to be completely sold out. But I tell you what, don't you worry your little head. There's a store only four hours away that has some available. So I tell you what, you get comfortable, take a load off, I'll take care of everything for you. Okay? Hell yes, I mind. God damn it, if it ain't on the floor, we ain't got it. Let me get this straight. You want me to stop what I'm doing, go all the way to the back room to find something for your ass. And that's the crazy part. I ain't getting no extra money for it. You lost your damn mind. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. As far as I'm concerned, you can take that drink and you can shove it up. Hey, Juwan, come up here and jump on this register for me. Let me see it. I go find it for you. I can't hop on the register right now. I'm with a customer. I'm gonna go check for you. <laughs> that boy crazy, bro. Yeah. Hey, 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 bro. When I say Kiosa came in in some tights, bro. She came in in some tights, bro. That booty was moving. I was like, damn, I wish Daryl was here. Oh, damn, it's time to go. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no more. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Do you mind telling me where the bread is? Well, yes, I sure can. I can tell you where everything in the store is. The cereal, aisle three. Ooh, the rice is on aisle seven. The candy's on aisle five. The condoms on aisle nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sir, to answer your question, the bread is on aisle four. You know how to get there? You just go out this way, make a left, make a right, make a U-turn, and it's gonna be right there. Matter of fact, you know what? Come on, get up my bed. I'll take you myself. Yeah! Bro, it's signs on top of every aisle that tell you what's on it, bro. I'm not finna show you with nothing there, cuz. Get my face, bro. Use your eyes. Bro, it literally tell you right there. Let's use our eyes together. Aisle four, peanut butter, condiments, bread. Why y'all keep asking me these stupid ass questions? Just look for it. It ain't that hard. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. Ain't nobody got time for the game, bro. Get my face. Thank you so much, you've been super helpful. Are you guys allowed to take tips? No, sir, absolutely not. It's against company policy. And even if we could, I wouldn't take it. Because I don't do this for the money. I do this for the amazing customers like yourself. You say what? Hell yeah, I'll take tips. Matter of fact, if you ain't got cash, I take Venmo, I take Cash App, I take PayPal, I take Food Stamps. Hell, I take a coupon if it's free. The hell with this company, they got money. I'm the one struggling, but do I take tips? Absolutely, goddamn loony. <laughs> What the hell is that, man? Damn. What's up, D? What the hell? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? How the hell you get in that damn house? Hey, D, I need to talk to you, bruh. Bruh, how the hell did you get in my damn house? Oh, yeah, you left the window unlocked. What? I ain't leave no... I ain't leave no damn... I ain't leave no windows open. No, I ain't say you left it open. I said you left it unlocked. <laughs> Have you lost your damn... Hey, bro, you busy? I mean, I was sleep till you burglarized my damn home. You lucky pop one here, you would have shot your ass. All right, okay, 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 bruh. Okay, my bad, my bad. But I need your help, though. What? Wait, what, man? All right, listen, so... Um, I might, you know what I'm saying, I had, uh, got down, I had, uh, went out for the weekend, you see what I'm saying, you trying, you know what I'm saying, have a good time, and I, I might have, could have maybe possibly, kind of, sort of did, um, spend a little too much, you know what I'm saying, over the weekend, so well, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not gonna be able to make my rent, um, if you know you got bills, why the hell oh my life? Oh my cable, bro. Look, I ain't, I ain't got money to just be. Ah, D, come on. You know, I, I ain't ask you. For, you know, I, I, I don't want your money, D. I ain't ask you for no money. So, so what you need my help for? I'm glad you asked. Check this out. So, 
I went and I did my research, right? And I printed out all the bank hours around the whole city. Okay, so what that mean? All right. So what we gonna do is we gonna find the safe locations in every single one of these banks, right? And then what we gonna do is when they leave, you we, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Wait a minute. Hold up. Bring it back. Bring it back. Wait a minute. Put a, put the brakes on it. I know you not asking me to help you rob no bank, nigga. Bro, do I look like I would rob a bank? <laughs> I, I ain't no damn criminal. Okay, okay, check this out, check this out, check this out. So look, look, I'm not, go, I'm not gonna rob the bank per se. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just gonna go in at night when they leave. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna find the safe. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take out some money, not all of it, you know what I'm saying? Just some of it, enough to pay my bills, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't need a means. I just need, you know what I'm saying? Smooth couple bands, you know what I'm saying? Cover my bills, you know what I'm saying? Maybe give me a watch, you feel me? And then, and then on Friday, when I get paid, you see what I'm saying, I'm going to come back, I'm going to sneak back in, you see what I'm saying, and then I'm going to replace the money I took, you know what I'm saying, so I ain't like, I'm not stealing from the bank or, 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 or robbing the bank, it's more like a bank loan, you, you, you see what I'm saying? Wait a minute, hold up, you got to be the stupidest, okay, let me get this straight, you going to break into the bank somehow, magically, Open up the safe and then steal money. Borrow some money. You gonna steal some damn money from the bank. Go home. Come back on Friday when you get paid. You gonna go and break into the bank again and replace the money that you stole the first time. And the, the magical part about all this, you ain't gonna get caught. Right. You got to be about the dumbest individual on the face of the earth if you think you're... Uh, come on, D, we can do this, bro. I'm not helping you rob no damn bank. Why not? Have you never heard of prison? Bro, man, prison ain't even that bad, like, like to be honest, bro. Like, it's, it's really not, bro. Like, <coughs> well, excuse me. I didn't know you was an inmate. I mean, I ain't never been, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I know people, you know what I'm saying, who know people, you know what I'm saying? Like, who know people, you know what I'm saying, who been to prison and... They be like, ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is like stay in your cell. You know what I'm saying? Like, then fight sometimes. Make you some goddamn noodles. You feel me? But like, I mean, really, like, come on, bro. You can do that, bro. Like, that, 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 that's easy, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, ain't that bad. I'm not doing that, bro. See, D, bro, like, that's your problem, bro. You real selfish. Like, if it was you, I'd help you. You see what I'm saying? Oh, really? What about the time you left me to get jumped by them damn gangsters? Ain't, no, ain't nobody going nowhere, bro. You got three seconds to tell me if you bird game or if you false claiming before I start putting bullet holes in everybody. Man, you know what? I'm tired of this. My dad ain't raised me to be no damn punk. You know what I'm saying? It's two of us, it's two of y'all. So either y'all gonna back up by my face or we gonna have to lay hands on you. Ain't that right, bro? Hey, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, bro. Bro. <clears throat> hey, bro, where y'all at, bro? What was you saying? Or, what about the time that you prank called Pops and told him it was my idea? Yes, sir, I'm with the electric company, and uh, we just wanted to call to remind you that your bill is due next week, and uh, we don't want you to miss it again. First of all, I know what my damn bills are due. I don't need you calling here to... Hold up, again? What the hell you mean again? I ain't never missed no damn payment. Yeah, it looks like here you have a, um outstanding balance of $5,000. $5,000? <laughs> <laughs> please, you lost your damn mind. <laughs> Mr. Mays, you still there? Mr. Mays, you still there? You have three seconds to respond or I'm shutting you down. You have three seconds to respond or I'm shutting you down. Three? Two. Dad. 
Before you say anything, this is all Daryl's idea. I, 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 I promise you, I told him we shouldn't have did this because I know that you don't like joking around like that. Cause, cause like you too real for that, and you, you be too busy, man. You work too hard to be, you know what I'm saying, getting joked on like that. I told him this was a bad idea. I don't know why. I don't know why he wanted to go through with this, no. bro. I, I, I don't even. Your son's no, crazy, bro. Why you bringing up old stuff, bro? I'm, bro. I'm, I'm not having this conversation with you, bro. I'm not, I'm not getting arrested for you, man. Oh my God, dude, we not gonna get arrested, bro. You damn right, I'm not getting arrested. You wanna know why? Cause I'm not doing it. Man, you supposed to be my bro. You know what? I'll tell you what, I don't give a damn. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'll do it by my damn self. I don't need you. I don't need nobody. A man got to do what a man got to do. You don't want to help me? You ain't got to help me. I'll do it for you though, I'll tell you that. I'll do it for your ass. Thanks for nothing. All right, bro. So you really ain't going to come? Hell no. All right. Okay. I'm going to remember that. Next time you're choking on the Skittle, don't call me because I ain't going to be able to save your ass. All right, whatever. I'm staking, I am. It's that our damn windows! Damn criminal! Later that same evening. What's happening? It's your boy Jerome Jenkins, and I'm back with your breaking news at five. Just then, a local Charlotte man was just arrested for an attempted bank robbery. Witnesses say 23-year-old Semi walked into a bank and demanded that he be shown the location of the safe and the passcode to open it. He then told employees, and I quote, I'll be back tonight, and you better not change it. Well, just as he said, his stupid ass came back. Only when he came back, it was a heap of officers waiting on his ass. The suspect oh, man, was tased man. upon arrival and is now resting in CMC jailhouse. Now, police officers are still looking for his partner. The suspect that gave them the name Daryl Mays, also known as D. Slaughter. If anyone has any information, please call Crime Stoppers immediately and get Dang. these Negroes locked up. Wait. Appreciate you. When the hell you start robbing banks? Dad ain't robbing no banks. He lying. Oh. Go well, ahead. You better start running. Cause you been to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> this is the police. Open up. Ain't nobody here. Dad, don't you still got a warrant? What the hell I got a warrant for? Remember you hit that lady and that police officer? I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to act like this is all a dream. And when I open them back up, if you are still standing next to my damn vehicle, I'm going to knock every tooth in your damn mouth onto the concrete. Sir, you know what? I've had Three. enough. I'm leaving. I've had enough of you Negroes Th for today. Get that mother... Did you just... Oh, hell no! <laughs> Dad! Stinking ass! Hey, man, what the hell? You know you just hit that damn lady. Is that what that was? Oh, my God. Officer, I'm so sorry. I'm legally blind. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Man, what the hell you thinking, man? You say what? I said, what the hell is you thinking? You just hit that damn lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm legally deaf, too. I can't hear you. Hold the hell on. You blind and you deaf and you driving? You make You know what? Your ass going to jail. What? Please, I check on this lady to make sure she all right. Your ass is under arrest. Get up, lady. You all right? Dad, you finna go right back to jail. Dad. Dad, what you doing? I'm legally blind, remember? Dad, you not blind. What you talking about? God damn it, I'm blind today. Dad, I know you ain't finna. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. We better get the hell out of here. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, I don't know what happened, bro. All I know is they gave me the ball, boy, and I was unstoppable, boy. I was moving like Calvin Cambridge. Boy, hit that man with the step back. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. What? Bro, you trash. You couldn't even make a shot last time we played. You know the wind was blowing my shot, bro. You know that, bro. Don't don't do that, bro. Cause you know I crossed you, bro. You crossed me? Hell yeah, I crossed you, bro. You remember that, bro? You remember, bro? Cause I hit that spin move. You know what I'm saying? Then I expeditiously fake right and went left, and I went around there and Steph Curry you in your face. You were looking sad. You remember? I, I, you remember that, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, that's cap. Cause you ain't even got handles enough to be doing spin move. Second of all, you did what, bro? You remember that, bro? I fake right went left, and I hit you with that Steph Curry, bro. You remember that, bro? It's our plan. Nah, bro. No, no, no. I'm talking about what was that big word you just used just now? Big oh, I said I expeditiously fake right went left. <laughs> expeditiously? Man, you can't even spell expeditiously. <laughs> what you talking bro, about? What you talking about? Yes, I can, bro. Spell it. What you? Expeditiously, bro. E X P A. Mm. Expedi. Bro, whatever, bro. It don't matter. Bro, I, 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 I know how to spell it, bro. I, bro, I ain't got to spell it out for you, bro. I, I expeditiously crossed the hill at you, bro. Like, I ain't got to spell it, bro. I know what happened, bro. Okay, tell me what it mean. It mean like fast, bro. Like, I expeditiously fake right went left. It scooped in your face, bro. Expeditiously. That's what that mean. It mean fast, bro. Like, what you not getting, bro? Like, that's cap. 
You don't know what it mean. This man think he an English professor talking about expedition. Bro, how's that cap? That's what it mean. All right, bro. All right. Google it. Hey, bro, I said okay. Nah, bro, Google it, bro. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm making up stuff? Google it and see what it mean. I'm trying to tell you what it mean. All right. And if you're wrong, you owe me $5. All right, and if I'm right, you owe me $5. All right. Let me check real expeditious, let in. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I ain't, I ain't got no signal in here. Hey, bro, what's the Wi-Fi password, bro? Hey, D, you hear me? D. D. Bro, bro, oh my God, bro, yes, here, present, bro, goddamn, you want me to sign something? God right, damn. Dang, bro, what's wrong with you? I was just trying to get the Wi-Fi password. For what, bro? You just told me to Google the word, didn't you? You don't need no Wi-Fi to do that. Well, maybe if y'all didn't live in the butt crack of the country, I'd have some signals so I could use my data. <laughs> well, <laughs> you just ain't gonna have no service. <laughs> So you really not gonna give me the Wi-Fi password, bro? I, I don't even remember it, bro. I don't even, I don't, even, I don't even know the password, bro. Like, oh, it's on the back of the router on that little sticker. You want me to go find it? Bro, why, 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 Hey, D tripping. He acting all paranoid. I was just trying to get the password to the Wi Fi. He, he acting like. Every... Everything alright? You get on from right here. What? You leave from here and don't you ever come back. What? Why the hell are you talking like that? Leave! Y'all need some help. Y'all tripping. What the hell wrong with y'all? What I tell you about giving up my password? Dad, I swear, I wasn't gonna give it to him. I was just gonna put it in for him. Oh, well, okay. I don't know, man. D, come on, bro. It's gonna be funny. But you know how Pop get though. Like he don't, he don't really do jokes like that. Like, I mean, what's the worst he gonna do? Ground you? Ain't nobody talk. Hell, you God damn. Damn. Hey, cuz who the hell? Shut your ass. Oh me. Hey, cuz. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Who the hell you think you talking? God, God said shit. Oh, you done messed, Dad. Oh, we you done lost your wait, man. Wait, 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 Dad. Yeah. Yeah. You really done lost your wait, man. No, no, don't you run no, from me, boy. No, don't you run, no, don't you run from me, boy. No, 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 all we gotta do is we gonna call him, we gonna pretend like we like the electric company or something, we gonna say, yo, we ain't had no payment in like six months, and you owe like $5,000, woo woo woo, and that, that's it. Like, that's all we gotta do. Bruh, you know he gonna flip. Exactly, bruh, that's why it's gonna be funny. Come on, bruh. And hey, what if we get caught? I stay here, you can go home. I can't go nowhere. Dude, we not gonna get caught. He right down the hall. All right, here we go. Ah, God damn it, I'm taking a clip from skin. Dude, trust me, bruh, if we get caught, I tell him it was my idea. All right, man. All right, bet, bet, bet. Who calling? You calling? Okay, cool. <sighs> we finna die. <gasps> oh, you a tough one. Okay, it's always the pinky toe. All right, come on. God damn, who is that? Can't you see I'm relaxing? God damn. Even on my day off, I can't be off. <sighs> Hello. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Is this Mr. Mays? 
That depend on who calling. Who the hell is this? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm with the electric company. And uh, we just wanted to call to remind you that your bill is due next week. And uh, we don't want you to miss it again. First of all, I know where my damn bills are due. I don't need you calling here to... Hold on, again? What the hell you mean again? I ain't never missed no damn payment. Yes, sir, Mr. Mays, our records indicate that we haven't received a payment in six months. Six months? The devil is a goddamn lie. You better double check them damn records. <laughs> Excuse me? Mr. Electrical Man. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, sir, I'm here. I was just double checking the records. Yeah, you better check them. Yeah, it looks like here you have a, um outstanding balance of $5,000. $5,000? Now, I ain't no damn mathematician, but where the hell is you getting $5,000 from? How the hell I owe y'all $5,000 my bill is over $200 a damn month? Even if I did miss six months, which I have not, uh, that would only be $1,200, so where the hell are you getting $5,000 from? <clears throat> well, sir, the late fee I of... Fee my ass. I ain't been late. I pay all my damn bills on time. How the hell you go? Matter of fact, who this? What's your name? My name is Jesse. Well, look here, Jesus. I tell you what, if I got to come down there, I guarantee. I guarantee if I got to come down there, it's going to be a shootout. Sir, is that a threat? No, 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 brother. I don't make threats. I make promises. And let anybody tell you, I keep my damn promises. So I'm going to tell you one more time. If I got to put my damn shoes on and leave the comfort of my house on my day off to come down there, I guarantee. I guarantee that when I get down there, it's gonna be a sh What the hell? Yes, sir, what was that, Mr. Mays? You wanna run it by me again? What the hell going on? I know damn where. Yes, sir, I need you to understand one thing. I am in control here. I have the power. Literally, and I will shut you down. This mother... What was that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Lord, you, you, you playing with me, ain't you? You play, you know I'm trying to do better. You playing with me, ain't you? You better hope I... Speak up for me, I can't hear you. If, if you cut them down. Boss, I swear to God. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to take my, I, I'm going to take my ass down there. Because they think I'm playing. I know damn well that. Uh uh. Oh, hell no. I, uh uh. I swear to God. I swear to somebody gonna get. Somebody gonna get dead. Somebody gonna get. <clears throat> Mr. Mays, you still there? Mr. Mays, you still there? You have three seconds to respond or I'm shutting you down. You have three seconds to respond or I'm shutting you down. Three. Two. Dad, before you say anything, this is all Daryl's idea. I, 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 I promise you, I told him we shouldn't have did this because I know that you don't like joking around like that because like, you too real for that and you you be too busy, man. You work too hard to be, you know what I'm saying, getting joked on like that. I told him this was a bad idea. I don't know why. I don't know why he wanted to go through with this, no. bro. I, I, I don't even. Your son's no, crazy, bro. Dad. He talking about, oh yeah, oh yeah, Pops ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He just be running his mouth. He just be bumping his guns. Yeah, he ain't gonna do nothing. He all talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man in the house. Woo, woo, woo. I was just like, you sure? Like, I don't want to get, I don't want to get nobody in trouble. He was like, man, I'm gonna no. care nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? We can do it. You know what I'm saying? Cause he real, man. He like, man, I'm gonna get nobody in trouble. He was like, man, I don't care nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? We can do it. You know what I'm saying? Cause he real. I like, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna have your back when he come in here. You see what I'm saying? So, bro. nah, bro, nah, bro. You, should, bro, nah, I don't even do that, bro. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. Like, I don't even know. Yeah, he lying, I don't even know why. You know what, bro? I'ma leave. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, like, I'm so disgusted with your behavior, bro. That it's ridiculous, bro. I'm, I'm just gonna leave y'all. You know what I'm saying? And have a conversation, cause you need to. You know what I'm saying? You might want to. Cause he, I talk to you later, bro.
You know what I'm saying? I I I I ain't with it, bro. So he lying. You got jokes? He lying. Huh? No. We doing prank calls now? Dad. We doing prank calls? No. Good morning, class. I hope you all are ready to learn. I hope you brought your thinking caps today. Daryl, how you feeling this morning? I'm blessed as hell, Mr. Johnson. Thanks for asking. I had a great night's sleep. I woke up this morning, thank you, Lord. I got up this morning, took a nice hot shower, and put on my favorite clothes. The bus was late, so I had time to catch up on some extra credit. Oh, but even though the bus was late, guess what? I was the first one in the cafeteria, so I got my breakfast first. What did I have? I had yogurt, I had cereal, I had a parfait, I had a granola bar, and some orange juice. So I guess you can say I'm having a great day so far. And to top it all off, I'm sitting here in my favorite teacher's class. It's gonna be a great day, and I'm looking forward to what you have to teach us. As you can see, I got my book bag, and I'm ready to learn. I'm telling you, Mr. Johnson, I'm blessed. I really can't complain. Oh my God, bro. I just got off the bus, and I already wanna go home, bro. First of all, I went to bed late because my mama made me stay up and do that stupid homework you told us to do. So I woke up late. Then my clothes wasn't washed or folded or ironed or nothing. So I told my mama she was worthless, and she started whooping me. So my left cheek is sore. Then I left the house and got chased by a damn dog. Then when I finally got to the bus stop, the bus was late. And because we the last stop, it wasn't no more seats left. So I had to stand up. And the bus driver can't drive. I don't know how she got a license. The whole time, I'm just rocking. So I got off the bus all dizzy, and I threw up in the parking lot. Then I got to the cafeteria, and guess what? One of my food left, so I stole off on the lunch lady. So basically, to answer your question, I'm stressed. I'm hungry, my butt hurt, I got a headache, and on top of that, I had to come here for homeroom. I hate this class. You the worst teacher in the whole school, and I... What up? Don't worry about it. Why school so early anyway? And why we gotta be here so long? I don't even know why we here for, bro. I can learn everything on YouTube. I don't need you. Like I said, I'm ready to go home. I got time for this. Don't call my name. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I ain't come to school to learn today. I ain't come for that. If you get on my nerves at all today, bro, I put it on everything I love. I'ma throw this desk off that, that board at you, bro. And I put that on guard. All right, class, I need you to pull out a pencil and paper to figure out this equation. 3x minus 2sy ps5 minus sigma tv times 6 divided by 3 over 2 over 5 divided by 6 minus Nintendo Switch and divide that back 63,000 equals what? You guys have two minutes. Oh, wow! I'm excited to have my mind challenged. Even though this problem is for college students and we're in the third grade, I'm completely fine with trying to figure it out. All this is doing is preparing me to get my college education one day. My education is important to me. As a matter of fact, this problem's not even that hard. You should give us a harder problem. The harder it is, the more my mind will expand. These problems that you're giving us is gonna make me the smartest third grader in the world. All right, this is gonna I donated clothes to the homeless shelter. Then I had to go take care of the elderly. Then I had to go sing on the choir at my church. And after that, I remember I went home and I did the homework. But oh my God, I was so tired after saving lives as a volunteer firefighter that when I got home and I did the homework, I fell asleep on the table. Darn it! I must have left the homework on the kitchen table. But no need to worry. I tell you what. Instead of a two-page essay, how about I write a four-page essay and I'll bring it to you first thing in the morning. I'm so ashamed of myself and I beg for your forgiveness. I can't believe I left my homework on the table. That's crazy. Isn't it? Did we do? We had homework? We didn't even give us homework. I don't remember that. Uh-uh, bro, no, you ain't, you ain't saying nothing about the homework, bro. You, you trying to get us, bro, that cap, bro. He ain't give us no homework, bro. I Wait a minute, you talking about that six-page essay you said was due today? Yes, Daryl, that is the one. Damn, that's right, I meant to talk to you yesterday after class. I ain't doing that. Who you, who, who you know 
don't write a six page essay about photosynthesis. I can't even spell photosynthesis. Be all listen here. It ain't gonna happen. I'm not doing it. You know how long it's gonna take for me to write a six page essay about photosynthesis? Too damn long. Mr. Johnson, I got a life. And I ain't trying to spend it doing no homework. You mean to tell me you expect me to come to school for six to eight hours, to go home, to do some more school, to wake up in the morning and come back to school? My boy, let me tell you something. You got me twisted. If I'm spending all my time in school, what am I supposed to have time to do the important things in my life? Like play Fortnite and Call of Duty and Great Theft Auto. When can I do that, Mr. Johnson? Huh? You want me to write a six page essay about photosynthesis? I don't even know what that is. And I still don't know what that is. So, to answer your question, Mr. Johnson, did I do the homework? Yes, I did, because my mama said she'd be mad if I didn't, so here you go. Thank you, Miss Johnson. So, according to Miss Johnson, Jacob was acting up while I was out of the classroom. So, because of Jacob, the whole class gets detention now. You know what? You're right. We all deserve to be punished. One soldier falls, we all fall together. This should be a life lesson for all of us. We need to all watch after each other and keep each other accountable. When the teacher leaves the classroom, it does not give us the right to act crazy. It's on us to keep each other in line. You know what, Mr. Williams? I'm glad you did punish us. Because even though it was Jacob that got us all in trouble, we are a family and we are one. So though Jacob was the reason all this happened, we're right behind Jacob and we're gonna fall just with him. You know what, Mr. Williams? I don't think that punishment was hard enough. I believe you should give Jacob and the rest of us a harder punishment so we can learn from our mistakes. So, who's with me? Man, shut your ass up. Wait, what? You gonna punish all of us? Wait, we didn't even do nothing. It was just Jacob. I was in the bathroom the whole time, so I ain't got nothing to do with this. How you gonna punish me? I ain't even do nothing. That's not fair. Oh, so if one teacher get fired, y'all all get fired? No, it don't happen like that. So don't start that in here, because that's not how it go down. Today is his first day of school. Nobody even know him. You know what, Jacob? Since we all getting punished, I'll just punish you myself. No, come here, bro. Yeah, can you help me? I don't quite understand. All right, there you said you need help. No problem. So remember, what you gotta remember is you wanna do PEMDAS, PEMDAS, parentheses, uh, exponent. Okay, okay. okay, so multiplication, addition, and subtraction, okay? It's PEMDAS. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take this first number and you wanna divide it by 654, and you wanna take the other number and you wanna multiply it by the rest of the numbers. And you wanna take all that and you wanna divide it by pi. Remember, pi is 3.14. Bro, I'm about, I'm about to fail, bro. See, Ms. Johnson, I need help, bro. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. It's confusing. All right, all right, I'm coming. You say you need some help? All, all right, right, that's no it, bro. Like, problem. So what you wanna do is, you wanna take the PEMDAS method and you wanna multiply everything. So you gonna multiply 600 plus 300,000, then you gonna do Damn! Bitch, don't stop your breath away from me. No, oh, man, why your breath smell like that? What you been eating, chillings? I burn my eyebrows off my face. Nah, bro, for real, you need some gum or a mitt or some mouthwash or something, bro. Your hot breath was just melting my neck, bro. I knew I was itching. I didn't know what that was. That's your breath, bro. Anybody got some gum or a Tic Tac or something? Can somebody get doo doo mouth a piece of gum? Nah, for real, you need to get your mouth looked at. You got some teeth decaying or something. Your breath smell like cavities. You need me to bring you a toothbrush or something? As he was talking, it was just a bunch of heat. It was just hot. I was like, damn, I got a fever? Why is your breath so hot? You could have cooked a hamburger on my neck just now. That's all my life flashing from my eyes. Am I blind? Oh, I still need your help, but help me from there. And speak up to the city. Maybe you'll melt the electrical system. We go home early. Need to brush your teeth. Smell like garbage truck juice. What's the answer number one? It ain't that hard. All you gotta do is you really gotta put your... All right, class. Today we're gonna be doing something exciting. Today we're gonna be watching a movie. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what's yeah, up right now. But don't get too excited, because you got a worksheet to go with it. Wait, we gotta do a worksheet while watching the movie? Awesome! That means I get to learn this twice as much. I pay attention to the worksheet and I pay attention to the movie. Oh, oh, everyone, that was one of the answers on the worksheet. You better pay attention. Bro, I'm about to go to jail for slapping this little boy, bro, on guard. Oh, wow. No way. Mr. Johnson, this is a brilliant movie. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love this movie. Did everyone finish their worksheet? I know I did. I paid attention to the whole movie. Bro, shut up. This little boy annoying. Wait, we have to do a worksheet and watch the movie at the same time? I can't multitask. I can barely blink and talk at the same time. And you expect me to do a worksheet and watch a movie? What? Watching movies are supposed to be fun. I don't want to do no freaking work. When we watch a movie, it's usually time for me to be on my phone.
class, I need somebody to volunteer to read page 264. Any volunteers? Any volunteers? Anybody at all? Please. Don't all raise your hand at once. Any volunteers? Any volunteers? Okay, any mini mighty Daryl, read page 281, please. Thank you. Why, yes, of course. Sorry about that. My grandpa just broke his neck. But this is more important, right? <laughs> Let me just reach in my bag and find my textbook. No, it's in here. Oh, here it is. Let's see. What page are we on? You know, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'll just guess. As my grandfather lies on the floor in pain, I was a little busy. <laughs> Trying to find the right page. Give me one second. Okay, I think it was. Okay. This is the right page? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, that's not fine. I'm the right page. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I was too busy trying not to cry. <laughs> You know what? How about we let someone else read? Bro, why would you call my name, bro? Bro, you obviously see I'm on my phone. You obviously see I'm not paying attention. Why would you call my name? Can't you see I'm going through something over here? My grandpa just broke his neck. But no, that's not important. Mr. Johnson wants me to read the paragraph. Or let me just find it. Let me just go through here and find the paragraph for him so he can stop crying. What's the page number? Here's a thought. Maybe if you was paying attention, you would know what page we was on, not wouldn't you? But I wasn't, I just... I just took, you know what, the hell with you in this damn paragraph. See this right here, bro, this is why nobody don't like you. This is why you the worst teacher in the whole school, because you do stupid stuff like this. It's 30 people in this classroom, everybody else hands was up but mine, and you decide to call on me. And then when I try to pay attention, you tell me, oh, well, maybe if you were paying attention, you would know what page you was on. You think I don't know that? What I'm reading for anyway, you the teacher. How about you read the paragraph? That's your job, ain't it? They ain't paying you to make me read. They paying you to teach. They paying you to read to me. They ain't giving me no money. You want me to read? I'm gonna need a piece of your paycheck. Surprise! It's a pop quiz. And guess what it is? It's actually a math test. Clear your tables off. This test is 365 questions and I'm giving you five minutes to do it, all right? Oh yeah, one more thing. No calculator can be used. No calculator? Well, that just makes it more of a challenge for me. Cause one thing I do love is a challenge. You may can take away our calculators, but you can't take away our fingers. I don't even need a calculator anyway, cause this test is gonna be easy. The answer is 12. <laughs> I did that without a calculator, all in my head. Who needs a calculator, dumb people? <laughs> Done. Man, that was very hard without a calculator. Psych! <laughs> no calculator? I'm about to fail. No, I'm failing. Don't even give me the test. No, I'm failing. If we can't use a calculator, I am failing. I'm telling you that right now. It is 2022. Why are we using our fingers or doing math in our head when we have calculators? That's why they gave it to us so he can use it. Now give it to us. I don't think you understand. If you don't give me a calculator, then I'm gonna fail this test. If I fail this test, that means I gotta tell my mama. If I tell my mama, then she gonna whoop me. And if she whoop me, I'm gonna tell her that you didn't give me a calculator to pass the test. So she gonna come down here and she gonna be like, why you ain't give my I said to calculate, you would be like, y'all guess I didn't want to. And then my mom was gonna whoop your tail. And I don't think you want those problems. Give me the damn calculator or else. All right, guys, so for your homework tonight, I'm gonna keep it easy on you guys. I want you to look in your math book and do pages one through 300 tonight, all right? And if you do not show your work, you will fail. Wait, you're giving us all that homework? You must really care about our education because homework like this is gonna prepare us for the future. I promise you, when I come in tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have all the homework done. And you know what? I'm gonna do extra credit because I wanna be the best student I possibly can be. You want us to do what? Man, I ain't doing that mess. I don't even do work at school, so what make you think I'm gonna do it at home? You tripping. How you gonna expect me to go home and do all this homework, play video games, eat, play some more video games, go to sleep, and do it all over again? Man, you got me messed up. You know what? I'ma just start it right now, so I ain't gotta do it at home. <laughs> First question. If Mary had a goat, what was her cat's name? No, I failed. I'm done. All right, class, now that the work is over for today, can anybody tell me where I can find some tape, a plastic bag, and a shovel? Anybody? Oh, finally. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the hell are we? I think y'all going. The bell don't dismiss you. I dismiss you. You sit your ass in down. Hey, that's a good point. You got a point. If you're not done instructing, we're not done learning. Believe me, sir, I've got all day. My education is very important to me. There's absolutely nowhere I'd rather be than learning here with you. So go ahead, continue teaching. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you got that twisted. The bell absolutely does dismiss us. That's what the bell is for. Look at that. And we the only ones still sitting here. So with all due respect, Mr. Johnson, you can kiss my ass. Dad, where did this man go, bro? 
Who the man? You the man. Who told you that? You did. Damn skipping. And why is that? Cause I'm the real OG. You the king. And what about everybody else? They your peasants. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus name. Amen. Love you dog. Same time tomorrow? You already know it. All right. Dad, what you doing? First and foremost, what I do and when I do what I do is none of your business or concern. Let's get that straightened out right now. Secondly, if you must know, I just finished doing my daily affirmations. Daily affirmations? Hey, ain't that kind of weird? Like, is it with son? <laughs> Self-love is the best love. Ain't nobody gonna love me like me. So if me loving me makes me weird, then I guess I'm just gonna be a weird ass. Uh, okay, I, I guess that makes sense. Matter of fact, speaking of weird, what the hell you want? What you mean, speaking? Anyway, I got something I want to show you real quick. Like what? Come on, Dad, it's a surprise. Is it a surprise for me? I mean, not really, but... Well, then it ain't no damn surprise. Dad, can you just come see? What the heck? All right, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Damn. Talking about a surprise. And it better not be no damn bug, either. I don't want to see no damn cockroaches with wings. I don't want to see no damn spider, no beetle. It better not be no damn bug. And if it is, you better kill it. You don't mess with no damn... Dad, it's not no bug. Can you just come here? All right, don't play with me. I'll burn this, burn this damn house down with both of us in it. And you know I will. What is it? Come on, Dad, have a seat. All right, Dad, so check this out, right? So, as of recently, I started rapping. You, oh, hell no. We, we... Wait, Dad, where you going? Son, don't take this the wrong way, okay? But when it come to rapping, singing, dancing, humming hell, whistling, anything having to do with any kind of rhythm, you ass with a capital A. What? I'm talking about bad, terrible, absolutely atrocious. Matter of fact, for the first 10 years of your life, I thought the doctor gave me the wrong baby. I was about to sue the state. I say this damn baby got about as much rhythm as a bag of rocks. Ain't no way in hell this baby mine. Matter of fact, I knew damn well you wasn't mine, cause you came home clapping like this. I said, what the hell wrong with this damn baby? But, lo and behold, I did the DNA test and unfortunately, you, I mean, fortunately, you mine. So, you know, I, I might do it again though, just to be sure, cause I still don't know. <laughs> Dad, for real, like, I really tried my hardest and I think it sounds pretty good. Can you just listen to it? <sighs> okay, okay, all right. I was trying to say you the embarrassment, but if you want me to hit a damn thing, I hit. But listen here, you know me. You know I don't bite my tongue, and I ain't gonna tell you no damn lie. So if it's bad, I guarantee I'm gonna tell you it's bad. Okay, and what if it's good, though? Oh, I know it won't be. I can tell you 100%. I already know, nigga. I bet you everything in my bank account, plus both arms, that it's not gonna be good. Ain't no way in hell. I already know it. Well, damn. All right, come on. Let me hit it. All right, here we go. Hey, this your boy at D-Maze. Oh, you God. Me? I been puffing on that gas. You puffing you know on the hell on. Cash. Huh? Huh? You been puffing on what? First of all, when the hell did you start smoking? And secondly, who house have you been smoking? I tell you what. Only thing gonna be smoking in this house is your ass after this belt done sliced it. No, no, no. Dad, you got it wrong. I, I don't smoke or nothing. So what the hell is you talking about puffing on gas? Dad, that's just how people rap nowadays. It ain't gotta be true. It just gotta sound good. What the Boy, have you lost your damn mind? See, this is wrong with your generation. This is why I don't listen to rap music now. Because all y'all do is lie about stuff that you ain't doing and trick these little kids into believing you're somebody that you're not. You mean to tell me you can't make a good rap song and tell the truth at the same time? No, not really. But dad, listen, listen. That's just how rap is. Everybody do that. Why don't you want to be a leader instead of a follower? It depends on how much they paying. All right, you know what? All I'm saying is, if you got to lie to make a good rap song, then you're not a good rapper. So can I finish the song? Or can you finish? Hurry up! Okay, cool. Damn. Damn, kids. Hey, this your boy at D-Maze. Oh, God. Me? I been puffing on that gas. Puffy. You know I got this cash. cash. I pull up in the stack. Yeah. She say she want to smash. Running up on me and I brr, brr, brr. Yeah, yeah. get up on my face, huh? I be uh, flipping packs, huh? Flipping the Smoking pack. on these drugs. Whoa. Everybody thugs. Ah. I'm a rapper too, too, so give me a hug. I'm a Williams Kansas band. I need to wear my new friend. I'm a Kansas band. 
on the hill and laugh like uh. Mr. Smart Ass. I ain't slow, I remember. And when did I come in last? Uh, about, about, about 25 years ago. Excuse me, sir, with all due respect, get the hell off my phone. What the hell you mean get off my, uh, hello? Hello? I know he just hang up there. What's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. I've been on this earth over 40 years and never in my entire existence have I heard anything like you just played for me just now? You ain't never, what? It's like that? That's what I'm talking about. So, so on a scale of like one to 10, what you think? Like, probably like a nine? Negative everything. You don't deserve a number. What you mean? That was absolutely terrible. Not only is you lying about smoking, you talking about making money. What money? You just asked me for $5 yesterday. Then, you talking about you gonna shoot somebody. Talking about run up on me, bang, bang, bang. I sprayed your ass with the water hose and you started crying. Who the hell is you finna shoot? You by the soft as a marshmallow. Oh, and then you really lost your mind talking about she wanna smash. Who the hell is she and where has she been? Cause I ain't seen her. The only relationship you got is the one you got with that damn lotion beside your bed. Dang. Hey, don't get mad at me as the kids say. I'm just keeping it a band. Somebody gotta say it. Talking about smoking on that gas. How you gonna smoke something you can't afford? What we'll think I'm some kind of damn fool? What you know the hell y'all looking at? I ain't being mean. Somebody gotta say it. He know I don't mean no harm. Ain't that right, Daryl? Ah, oh, he get over it. Stop all that damn crying. You might care about that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later. The hell are you crying for? So, what exactly made you choose to work in fast food? Are you serious? Like, this was my dream job. Like, ever since I was little, I wanted to work at McDonald's. I get to flip burgers. I get to serve people. I get to help people. I get to end world hunger. Like, oh my god, come on, our mascot is a clown. Have you heard of Ronald McDonald? How much more fun is that? I must say, this is by far the best job I've ever had. As a matter of fact, kids, look, this is my official spatula. I'm the one in the back that make your burgers. So you ask me why I chose this job. But really, this job chose me. I was made for this. I was born for this. If you want to live a fulfilled life of feeding people and ending world hunger, you come work with us. God damn it, I didn't choose it. I ain't had no choice. See, you might not understand this yet because you're too little, but when you get older, you're going to have this thing called bills. And the bill people don't care about how much money you got. They just want theirs. God damn it, I'm here to tell you, don't you believe these goddamn teachers for one second. I went to school, I graduated, I got a diploma, and I still couldn't find no damn job. So guess what? I have bills due. And guess who's hiring? McDonald's. The rent is due tomorrow. And guess who ain't got it? God damn it, I ain't got it. So I'm gonna say it again. I didn't choose this damn job. I was forced to take it. And the only reason I'm here right now is because they paid me to be here. Get my damn check. Oh, do you make a lot of money? Are you rich? That's a good question, kid. I actually am rich. I'm in the NFL and I play for the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets? Yeah, we're the best we're team the in the world. Team. I actually made $10 million last year. Yeah, I, 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 I bought everything. I got a boat, I got a house, I got 50 dogs for no damn reason. I got a bike, I got five Teslas, I got a Bentley truck, I got a Lambo, I got 50 computers, I got 50 bathrooms, and I'm the only one that lives in the house. I'm that rich. Am I rich? Hell no, I'm broke. My first contract was for $10 million. I spent it all because I have no financial literacy. No one help me. Now I got medical bills to pay because I broke my back. I got 15 concussions. My eyes don't look straight. You see my eyes? Do y'all see my eyes? Look at me. And now I'm broke because I don't know how to use my money right. So am I rich? No. Why y'all think I'm here now on the football field? Because they pay me to come here because I'm that broke. So as a soldier, what is your typical work day look like? Yo man, that is a great question. Every day I wake up and I put my life on the line for this country. And God damn it, I love every minute of it. Okay kids, listen, imagine Call of Duty, but in real life. I get to save people, or I get to stay in shape, or when I get to travel for free, we get to go on missions, we get to jump out of planes. Oh and kids, guess what? I get a gun. That's 
what I do. It's so much fun. You can look at me as a superhero. It's my job to protect you, to make sure you and your family stay safe. As a matter of fact, I couldn't ask for anything more. Every day is like a nightmare. Bullets flying everywhere. Bombs just exploding. God damn it, you ever seen a day about it? We'll get ready to see them every day. Cause every day somebody get dead. And I don't know what you're thinking. You probably thinking, oh well in the video games, if I die, I just come back to life. Well god damn it, it ain't like that in real life. You die here, you just get dead. It's over. All that fun stuff you see on Call of Duty and Fortnite and Apex and all that, false. I'm really in this. Let me tell you little kid something. You think you can handle this? Can you hold a gun to a man's face? Can you hold it to him and look at him in the face? Can you do it? Can you do it? You can't be soft. Cause on some days, you have to pull that trigger. Bah! If you can do that, then come on. Every day is worth it. It take guts to do this. You can't be no sissy. Now who wanna sign up? You know what? I wanna be just like you. Can you give me some advice? Of course, kid. The first thing you gotta do is stay in school. All of you have to stay in school. If you wanna be a doctor, you have to stay in school. Make good grades, respect your parents, and you can be right where I am. I went to school for about 25 years, but it was worth it, cause all I do is save lives now. Cause without us, you would die. And my last advice I can give you kids is to eat your vegetables and always eat your fruits. That's how you stay healthy and you live a longer life. Oh, you wanna be a doctor? No, you don't. I've been in school for 25 years. My hair is falling off. You see this? This is a wig. Yo, no, no. I'm a doctor still. I keep getting sued because I can't save nobody life. Do y'all understand how much it costs to go to school to be a doctor? My tuition is 15 million dollars. You think I'm gonna pay that off? No! You want that debt? Huh? You want that debt? I didn't think so. Oh, I know. What is the hardest part about being a police officer? Well, you know, the hardest part to me is that, um, I can't save everybody. I mean, I would like to help everybody, but I just can't. Sometimes I'm late. I mean, sometimes I need days off. You know, I be tired. But if it was up to me, you know, I save everybody. Because that's just the kind of person I am. I want everybody to live and be happy. Like, one more thing is, I would like to arrest people. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Just because you rob a bank don't mean you got to go to jail. You made a mistake. So I guess if I had to choose your man, I would say, I can't save everybody. And I don't like arresting people. Because I believe that everybody deserves uh, Yeah, come in, Officer Mays. We got a gang shooting happening down the I street from you. Everybody. We need you to drop everything. Anyway, I wish I could save everybody, but I can't, because sometimes I'm busy. Little boy, you want to know what the hardest part is? I don't get no damn respect until I start busting heads around here. Oh, y'all think I don't know. Everybody talking about F12, F the pig. God damn it, I'm trying to save your life. You want to know what the hardest part of my job is? The hardest part of my job is not beating people upside the head with your damn bitty club. I don't get no damn respect. Tell me why I pull somebody over for a broken taillight, they start shooting at my ass. What kind of mess is that? I bet y'all get some goddamn respect, I start busting heads. Every single day, I wake up and put my life on the line for y'all. I try to help y'all, and y'all don't show me no damn respect. And he's sleeping. He's, you see what? boy? That boy be talking about no damn respect. So if you weren't doing what you're doing right now, what would you be doing instead? That's a good question. Well, if I wasn't in prison, you know, I'll probably be a police officer. Get those criminals off the streets. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I went in the wrong direction. And I grew up saying, I want to be a police officer, but I made the wrong choices. That's why I came here, to let y'all know not to make the wrong choices, all right? To you that asked the question over here, just know to do the right choices, all right? I wanted to be a police officer, but that didn't happen. I look at police officer every day being like, I want to be you, but I can't be you, because I made the wrong choices. So make the right decisions, and maybe you can be a police officer. Shoot! I'll be doing the same damn thing I did to get in prison. I would have been stealing and selling drugs on the street. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they caught me, but if they didn't catch me, I'll be a whole millionaire right now, uh-huh. I'll be like Tony Montana. You know who Tony Montana is, boy? Yeah, he used to get all the money, all the girls. That was me. That was me till they caught me. And 2151, I'm going to be rich when I get out. I'm going to be doing all the most illegal stuff and be the richest person on the streets. Know that. You got any more questions, kid? So, how did your school classes prepare you for the job you have now? Well, uh, see, really, school helped me be a better boxer. See, because I had to use the calculations, like the, the, the quadratic formula, to, 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 to calculate how to punch people in their face. See, the truth is, everything I learned in school helped me to become a better boxer. Reading, writing, math, and how exactly did it help? Uh, in many ways. See, because in my writing class, we had to, like, you know, learn how to write sentences, so now when I punch, I write sentences. Bam! Bam! You see, you see how that works? Everything you learn in school is important. And then see, when it comes to reading, I, I gotta know how to read my opponent. You see what I'm saying? So I gotta be able to... Oh! I read that he about to go left. Bow! You see what I'm saying? Little 
your kids listen to me. If you want to be a good boxer, you got to stay in school. Because school is going to teach you everything you need to know. Ain't that right, Miss Johnson? It didn't. I ain't never used a goddamn thing I learned in school I am. I ain't used no goddamn quadratic formula. I ain't used no slope intercept. I ain't used none of that. I ain't never had to use it, never will. Matter of fact, I tell you how school prepared me. School made me aggressive. Every time I came to them damn walls, I wanted to fight somebody. So now I get to whoop ass professionally. School made me this angry. Matter of fact, I got kicked out of school because every time I failed the test, I punched the teacher. Oh, that's an F? Bah! Oh, that's a D? Bah! Oh, that's a C? Bah! I used to kick ass. Ain't nobody teach me nothing. Ooh, I swear, every time I walk in the school, I just wanted to. School made me aggressive. School made me angry. Matter of fact, I had a teacher tell me I wasn't going to mount to nothing. <laughs> ain't that something? Ain't that right, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> you remember that? I know you remember that. Well, now you gotta pay for it. <laughs> oh, you know what I want? I want a job where I can have fun. Is your job fun? Is my job fun? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I woke up this morning <laughs> and God blessed me <laughs> to wake up <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> can I get an amen? I'm blessed. And I get to tell people why God is good. And that's the funnest thing you can do in this life. I'm here to tell you, you can get saved today. You can get saved today. You can get saved today. And y'all know what? After life is over, we can go have some more fun in heaven. The devil tempts me every single day. No, this ain't fun. I'm out here trying to look good for all y'all. The devil make me look at stuff I don't want to look at. Actually, your teacher, yeah, Miss Johnson, I seen a big booty and I said, oh Lord, I saw it. It was the devil's fault. Now y'all pray for me. Let's pray right now. Lord, I like Miss Johnson booty. Oh, you see, I did it again. And then people come to me complaining about their problems and what they dealing with. Do I look like Jesus? Thank you guys so much for coming to speak to our class. Do you have any final words or thoughts? Everybody, I just want you to remember that school is important. You cannot be successful in life without a good education. So stay in school and get good grades. Everybody get out now. They a bunch of damn liars. They do want to take your money. If you can drop out, drop out today. I got one more thought. Miss Johnson, let me get that booty. Come here, Miss Johnson. I want to give a special thanks to the U.S. Navy for sponsoring this video. Well, good morning, neighbor. Hey, man, how you doing? One of these days, I'm going to have to invite you. Oh, yeah, we're going to have chicken Ooh. and ribs. Lord have mercy. It is hot as the devil's toenails out there. Gotta be about 100 degrees. Don't make no. What? What is that smell? What? It smell like a barnyard up in here. Did someone crawl up in here and die? Lord have mercy. It can't keep nothing. What? What happened to my. I, I just bought this rug. This rug cost me $40. You know what? That boy better have a good explanation. Dog, get in here! Smell is messing with my eyes. Don't make no sense. Can't leave my house for 20 minutes without something going wrong. No, oh, it's something with that. What? Lord have mercy. What happened to my pillars? Did Wolverine come through here? That boy must have finally lost his mind. I, I tell you what, you want to test stuff up? I'm going to test something up too. I, oh, I forgot these are the wrong pants. Where my belt? No, I did something. Oh Lord, baby, talk to me. Who did this to you? Who did this to you, Lord? You're all right. I tell you what, me and Doug will have a long, painful conversation with your big brother. They're gonna feel the wind from this woman all across the country. I promise you. I promise. Did that boy take a doo doo on my? You know, I done had, I done had enough. That's it. That boy must think he's a wild animal. Duh! You listen to me when I tell you. You got point two five seconds to get down here. Before Where did the dog come from? All right, pop. You know what to do. No sudden moves. If you don't mess with it, it won't mess with you.
bit. Oh, Lord. You better get, get out. Dad, what's going on? What's all that noise? Dad, watch out. There's a ferocious beast loose in the house. Go get my bag. <laughs> ferocious beast? Dad, you talking about my dog? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking you talking about your dog? You ain't got no dog. What? See, Dad, uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, I was wondering. If Hell no. No. N-O. Absolutely not. Come, come on, Dad. Can you just hear me out? I see there must be some kind of miscommunication going on. Maybe your brain going through a tunnel. So let me tell you one more time. N-O. No. Absolutely not. You take that dog back where it came from. You gon' get. Dad, listen. I got a plan. The plan has already been given on to you by me. You get rid of that dog. Dad, why can't we just keep it? Why can't we keep it? Open up your nostrils. Do you smell that? Look at my house. This dog ain't been here more than 30 minutes and then already chewed up my carpet, ate up my pillows, pooped on my floor, and ate up my belt. That dog need to be trained. Okay, Dad, but listen. That's part of my plan. You... Dog. Dad, just hit me out one time. Uh, all right, all right. What, 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 what? What is it? Okay, so I did some research, right? And I found out that the U.S. Navy offers a variety of different careers, including a M.A. dog handler, or in other words, a master at arms dog handler. Okay, and you telling me this because... Dad, these people are trained to handle MWDs, which are military working dogs. They train these dogs to be able to sniff out drugs and weapons on ships, vehicles, buildings, all types of stuff. Dad, military dogs are some of the most well-trained dogs on the planet. They even use these dogs to guard the president. So, here's my plan, right? I made some calls. And they agreed to let me come out to San Diego for two days, right? And while I'm out there, they're gonna basically train me on like what it's like to be an MA dog handler and give me some tips on how to train this dog. So, my question to you is, if I can train this dog to behave on my own, will you let me keep it? I don't know. How I know this dog ain't just gonna snap and swallow me whole? You saw it just tried to eat me a few minutes ago. Dad, she was probably just trying to play with you. Just look, look, look at that face. Doesn't it look like she was trying to hurt somebody? Yes, it does. You see them teeth? She got two rows of knives in the mouth. She'll rip you apart like a ham sandwich. Okay, okay, Dad, yeah, she, she got sharp teeth. But I mean, she's super sweet. All she needs is a little bit of training. And what if you can't train her, then what? Well, I mean, if I can't train her, I'll just find another home for her. Well, well I, I guess I have always wondered what it'd be like to have a dog. So. Exactly. All right, all right. If, if you can train a dog not to chew up my stuff and, and to, to use the bathroom outside, then... Maybe I'll let you keep her. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dad. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. Told my sweet. You ain't fooling nobody. I got my eyes on you. Chew on my stuff. Chew on this. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pack. Uh, hold on, you better get back here and clean this mess up. Oh, my bad, that's right. <laughs> and what you gonna do with this dog while you gone? It ain't staying here with me. Oh, uh, I'll see if one of my friends can watch it. All right. By the way, you can get down, Dad. You ain't gotta be scared. She ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't nobody scared. I'm just making sure the counter's sturdy, that's it. Yep, it's good. Okay, right. No sis, can't do nothing in my own house. Boom! I'm just gonna chill here till they leave. That way I can keep my eye on everything. That's it. Navy dog handler training. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what to expect. And I'm I'm good with dogs, but like other people dogs, I be nervous about because like other people dogs, like I don't know that dog. So I mean we're gonna we gonna see how it goes. But anyway, we here. And so now we're just gonna I think the first day we here, we just like exploring the city or whatever, which I don't know what to expect, man. I don't know what y'all Cali folk about. So basically I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Like I said, the whole purpose of this is so that I can go home and tell Pops I learn how to train this dog so that he hopefully let me keep it. So y'all pray for me. Cause I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully things go well. What's happening, family? Hey, so look, today is officially the first day. Um, I think, what time is it? I wanna say 
It's 5.59 right now. I have to meet everybody downstairs at 7.15. But basically, I think today we get to like meet everybody, meet uh, the dog handlers. We get to like walk the boats and all that stuff. So I'm a little nervous, like I said, just because I'm kind of new to it and I want to make sure I'm doing everything right. I want to make sure like they good. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I, just, I don't know what to expect. So it's, kinda, it's different for me. And then I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I also never gave y'all like a official hotel tour. So you come into the door right here, come into the door and this is the room. <laughs> This is the room. So you got a TV right there. The bed is here. All my camera stuff. That's me right here. So yeah, this is the entire, this is the room and then the bathroom is in here. Really, that's about it? I'm excited, man. So stay tuned, bro, because we're going to see what happens. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's happening, family? So as I mentioned before, we are in California and we are right now at Naval Base San Diego at the K-9 facility. And I'm here with my guy, MA1 Baker. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm MA1 Baker. This is my military working dog, MWB Fox. I'm here to show my man Daryl a couple of tricks to the trade to help with his dog at home. So like, what exactly is this, bro? Like, what do y'all do here? Like, what can we expect? Currently, we're standing in the obedience yard. Out here is where we get our basics with our dogs. We'll teach you, we'll do the, go over the sit, stays, down. Some of our okay. requirements here on the, uh, at the facility. Uh, you'll see today, we got some obstacles shut up. So our dogs run through these obstacles. They're kind of like uh, what we use to like generalize different things. So you'll see uh, what we call the A-frame over there. Uh, we'll see the stairs. Hmm. Just kind of get them used to going through movements that way. Hopefully it translates over to when we're doing searches, if they have to hop over things yeah. or hop through things. Things. Um, it kind of just helps them socialize and generalize that type of thing. Fox is what kind of dog? Fox is what we call a Belgian Malinois. I've never heard of that. Yeah, right, Belgian so it, Malinois. That's very common. So we have some different common ones. You, as you see, we have German Shepherds, yeah. Belgian Malinois. We have small breed Jack Russell Terriers. You'll see a, a plethora of different things. What are the different jobs that you guys do? Because I've seen it to where they have dogs that guard the president. They got dogs that like guard ships. So like, what, 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 what jobs do y'all do like so in terms as of a military dog handler you're subject to a bunch of different things uh typically what people may see on a day-to-day on when they watch tv is the deployment aspect of it yep so some dogs get deployed out to different countries for a certain amount of time uh, we also like you said uh we protect high dignitaries whether that be uh, presidential details uh, vice presidents or any major dignitary that has to do with like the military so we'll go out to different lo various locations the dog will go out with we'll search whatever wherever they're visiting whether it be the hotel whether yeah. it be the actual location that they'll be in and then out of all the jobs what's your favorite one you think i personally like the uh the presidential details oh, okay you go to some fun locations that's official right there boy <laughs> yeah and that's our opportunity as uh handlers we get to uh, actually put on civilian attire when we're out there, watch our polos and our khakis, and we look yeah. very official, you know? Yeah, yeah, And to see how it all operates, because, you know, we'd be so close-minded, we'd think like, oh, we're just out here for the dogs, but there's so much that goes into the whole job, so it's, it's definitely a good experience, I yeah. like to say. Cool, so you mind taking us through the course with Fox? Oh, absolutely. So we'll take him through the course, show you what he's capable of, and I hope you get to enjoy what you see. For sure, no, let's do it. So what we're about to do now is called a ship sweep. Now, I'm not sure what a ship sweep is, so we're gonna ask MA1 Baker what a ship sweep yeah, is. Yeah, so typically uh, what we'll do, if we get a call to a ship or we have a scheduled inspection to do, we'll come on board a ship, search their required spaces, any compartments that they need search, depending on what the nature of the call is. We'll work down the ship and uh, we'll have a spotter, somebody who's looking out for us as we search, okay. making sure there's no threats that we can encounter anything of that nature. So we're gonna walk Fox through here. Yeah. And so what are the places that people would, so, that would check, typically check for the most? The different jobs in the Navy, they all have their different space throughout the ship. So depending yeah. on where a certain type of people hang out, 
We get it. Sometimes ships get a lot of contract workers, so that means civilians coming on board the ship, kind of oh, okay. like fixing things in different natures. So we may have to go down to where they are because they are civilian. They're not. We're not too familiar. They get vetted. Okay. But, uh, just to, like clarity. So what are these ships primarily used for? So we have different classifications of the different ships. Some are used for this, uh, defense, some are used okay. for transportation. It just depends on where we're at. Um, you'll see some ships are larger than others. Mm -hmm. They house more people. So it's really just a variation. And we have a variation here at uh, Naval Base San Diego. We also cover different bases, such as uh, NAB Coronado. Okay. They, uh, they have ships born there. We just uh, stay flexible and try cool. to get all the ships. Yeah. Dope. Sounds cool, man. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. So we're going to do again. We're doing a ship sweep. So hey, I guess y'all just come with us. Oh, yeah. How do you know exactly when he's found something? Like, so he'll give us a passive response of a sit. Um, that's how I know that he's on like uh, an actual order and actually found something. Ah, okay, Other okay. than that, he'll kind of just, we just look for subtle changes in his uh, search pattern. So sometimes he gets a little more hype mm. and uh, we just got to keep up the energy with him because we don't want to kill what we call their drive. Yeah. What is like the typical day in the life of an MWD uh, handler? Well, you're pretty much looking at it. A lot of it consists of training the dogs to kind of build their proficiency level. So making them mm -hmm. better at what they do. Uh, we get our, our inspections, our uh, searches, and you know, we just respond to calls. We're still military police at the end of the day. Yeah. So we just military police plus one. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So then what would you say is your favorite part of the job? Oh, the independency. Really? We come in, we know what has to get done, we do it and we do it together. We do it as a team. Uh, you'll see with security, if you get a chance to make it over there, uh, it's structured. They also have to go out to their post, the designated post. We're all moving parts, um, so it's good. We have independency. We cover uh, a plethora of different installations, so mm -hmm. we're not just confined to here, and that's what I enjoy the most. Yeah. And outside of going out in town and doing the, the searches for the high dignitaries, it's a lot of good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, pretty cool. Sure. So then my last question would be, say there's a person that's watching this that wants to be uh, NWD handler. Um, what are some requirements for it? So we typically like people obviously that kind of have a uh, notion for dogs, that like dogs. Yeah. Um, but the requirements though, we have a test that we do. Uh, people that go to the fleet, which we call going to different bases, say they don't come in directly as an NWD handler. Mm -hmm. They will find a local kennel near them to do kennel support. And that's kind of like us handlers, like we're doing today. I yeah. kind of teaching them the ropes, teaching them what goes into it. We also have a board that we schedule for them and then we have to uh, have them study our instructions. So there's a lot of specifications that goes into becoming a, a dog handler. A lot of things to know for when you do become a dog handler. Hmm. So the earlier we can get them, the better. Now, so the thing is, right, so I came home uh, with a dog to my dad and he was like, basically, if I can't train it, I can't keep it. I just need to know <laughs> the simples as far as like how to make my dog like sit like lay down like this. So how do, how do I go about like teaching her to do that stuff? Oh, absolutely. So if I'm not mistaken, you have a German Shepherd at home? Yep, German Shepherd lab mix. Okay, so they're very receptive to training. Some of the techniques that we use here is a lot of luring with our rewards. So the, the toy that I keep in my pocket, most okay. dogs are trained on that. It grabs a lot of their attention most of the time. Okay. So this is what we use a lot of the times so if we're trying to teach a dog something new, if we're trying to get them to focus back on us or redirect their energy towards something. So it'll look something along the lines of, I wanted to bring him into the heel, like heel. And see, I can kind of guide him into that. With different dogs, with different techniques, with your dog, she may be want food, she may want snacks, she may want something else. A lot of dogs, they're willing to work for something. It's always about finding out what they're wanting to work with and work for. So when you're teaching a dog something new, you want to reward them each time that they perform a task. Okay. So if I'm teaching him to sit, if I tell him sit, I want to, good. We got verbal praises and we got toy praises too. So uh, it's like the verbal is like that when you were a child and your teacher uh, gave you a sticker for doing a good job. Yeah. That's that, okay, that's motivating for me. I give him a little verbal praise, good, good. Let him know you're doing the right thing. If I give you another task, down. Good job. So if you're trying to teach a dog something new, I always have to come in with a positive attitude. You want to make sure that you find something that the dog is willing to work for because that toy that I put out of my pocket is like the dog's paycheck. Gotcha. So you want to work for free? No, I like to work for free. Yeah. So the dogs also feel the same way. They want to do things and knowing that they're going to get paid to do so. Okay, okay, dope. Okay, so show me something, if I'm, I'm just, I'm new to this, show me something I can go home and like teach my dog. I don't want to say right away, but something that wouldn't take that long, like. You want to start with the basics, like to sit or whatnot. Okay. So some of the interesting things that you can do is you'll find a toy or a snack or some sort, you'll put it in your hands, because they have to respect your hands, right? 
You can bring it in here, you better sit. You bring them up, bring it over them. You see how you kind of guide them into that thing? And then you go down, down, and then now they're steady. So it's kind of like a guide. And then like I said, if you wanted to bring them to your side, heel. And then like that, same deal, down. Good. And we always want to pay them to, uh, periodically just to know that they are doing a good job and that um, they earned it. I feel like I learned a lot, like just from that by itself. I think I think I think I got enough to like be able to go home and at least convince Pop Doc can keep this dog. I think the basics of sit lie, and I think after seeing like how you did it, I think I, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna like mock it. And I think I think I might be able to do that. Well, I I might. you have my number. Anytime you need any reference or how you can better do something, give me a call. Don't be afraid to reach out. And if I don't know it, somebody at the kennel, one of the guys I work with, definitely knows. For sure. Hey, I appreciate you. Always, always, it, always. Yes, sir. Yo, so I just want to say first and foremost, man, thank you so much for this. Like, again, this is my first time to the West Coast, and to be able to experience this is dope. Like, before we did this, I knew nothing about the Navy. I knew nothing about being a dog handler. And so I came wanting to learn, like, simple tricks for the dogs, and I, I left with so much more. To see what y'all do on the back end, yo, it's, it's unbelievable. And it's truly amazing what you do, bro. Oh, so I just want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot, man. I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to kind of give people some insight on what we do as dog handlers on the yeah. day to day. Hopefully, we get to reach out to some sailors who possibly want to join the program. And uh, just give everybody a little insight and give you hopefully some trips to the uh, trade to take home to your dog. Most definitely, man. And sit. You want your ball? All right. And catch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, all right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But tell me this. How do I know that dog ain't going to use the bathroom in my house? Oh, watch this. <clears throat> Mila, go to the bathroom. See, I trained her how to not use the bathroom in the house. All right, well, I guess you did learn something out there, didn't you? Yeah, they really opened my eyes as to like just the different things you can do in the Navy and like how what they do on a daily basis protects us every day. So uh, a, a lot of respect was gained while I was there. All right, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> also, uh, so remember you said that, you know, if I could train her, we could keep her. So, can we keep her? Or? All right, all right, all right. I, I guess you can keep her. Yes! Thanks, Dad. You hear that, Mila? That means we are new owners and it's your new house to protect. Wait a minute, you already named her? What if, what if I wanted to name her? Oh, my bad, Dad, you had something in mind? Yes, I did. I, and, and, and I think her name should be, uh, Sidney, uh, uh, Sharkees, uh, Cardi, Megan, Mila, me, me, her name, her name is Mila. That, that's her name. What? That, that's what I. I no, 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 it's too late. I, I already came up with it. That's her name. Her new name is Mila. I, I already came up with it. You came too late to change it. What's your? All right. Well, I'm gonna go to my room. Yes, you do that. And it better be clean when I get back there. All right. I'm trying to take my name. What's wrong with him? He. What you looking at?